Cyrus. What a great roll. That that two there. Uh looking <laughs> real nice. Real Lies pretty. Me again. <laughs> real special. <laughs> Just roll higher. Uh okay. So keep so, good. So Justin, please do give us a recap in in so much as what Cyrus would oh remember and what Cyrus did in the last, because that's that's how we'll do it. And uh, I will fill in the gaps as necessary. Uh, and, fill and in a lot of the gaps. It. That's fine. I remember some of the things. Let's do it. So, uh, <laughs> starting we, off strong. We left uh, the the uh, underground place and had to deal with uh, uh, some assailants who were looking for dragon stuff. One of them we convinced to go back to being a fisherman. Uh, I don't remember if we ended up killing the other one. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't right, remember yeah, that right. part? Oh, that was right. a good one. Yeah, that uh, little, little girl decided to uh, take matters into her own hands. Uh, okay, and so then uh, then we made uh, like a pact sort of thing with uh, Mortlock to uh, try and kill his brothers, he was going to help us out, I think, with, like, the first one. Uh, then I went to a store, and I bought, a, a, like, a, a what, what did I put here? A shard of glass that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Very uncomfortable. Man, that was good. Uh, so, <laughs> so. <Was> it? <laughs> well, that was a pretty thing. thing. Uh, Are you I, to complain? The entire time, Cat's just shaking her head, he and I'm like, I'm just like, sorry. <laughs> So, oh, I guess, no, I didn't. V, you're sitting there listening to Cyrus re regale you with this story about what you did yesterday, and you're like, "There's a lot of things just... missing." Uh, would you like to? Would you like to fill in the gaps? Ah, uh, sure. I could. I could go on my my wonderful. Yeah, let's input. go. Let's go through the 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 journey of your notes. All right. Uh, the battle finished, and the man known as Mortlock uh, was alive. He told us that his son, he was the son of a duke, and his mother and brothers were working to bring him. Uh, bring down the city like they did Elturel, which has descended into Avernus. Although he was assisting them, his mother sent assassins to kill him, and he is now willing to turn on his brother and mother and assist us in combat. We found four treasure chests. They were about the size of uh, European hedgehogs. <laughs> yes, you worked it in. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> <laughs> Filled with copper, silver, and two red vials that perplexed me with what was inside. A dragon cult mask and a beautiful tiara uh, with five colors on the tip of each peak. We decided to leave the dungeon and I really wanted to wear the tiara. I took off my helmet without thinking and tried it on and although surprised and scared, Vendetta told me that it fitted me just fine and gave me a hug. She made me feel much better. <laughs> I was really moved by her words and took a liking to her even more. I wanted to make it home uh, I wanted her to make it home her make it home safely. When we reached the entrance, we were ambushed by a few men wearing dragon cult masks. They attacked us unexpectedly. I took a heavy blow and was knocked unconscious. I woke up with Rowan giving me a potion just in time to see the man that attacked me being taken out and fall limp to the ground. The others, which Francis had put to sleep, were restrained. They told us they were here to claim back some of Tiamat's lost treasure that was stolen. We let one of the members named Bill go, but as we were debating on what to do with the other and coming up short, to my surprise, Vendetta slashed his throat, ending the conundrum told me thank you and left. She seemed somewhat different, but I'm sure she just wanted to leave. We made it back to Hugo's place where Klim accepted the role of butler taking care of the place. I tinkered for a bit and made a page turner to keep my mind occupied at night. Uh, in the morning, I woke up and found a note from Vendetta telling me that she looks forward to our next meeting. I put that away and we all rested um, and planned to go to the bar called Low Lantern to find Mortlock's brother, Amarek. Yes, yeah, I, I, I wasn't just like that. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 was in there. Actually the same thing. To be yeah. fair though, V, you didn't say about, you know, Cyrus buying a shot of glass, so. Yeah. I wasn't there for that. <laughs> yeah. 
There's yeah, so he he wasn't really there for the rest of that. It's fine. <laughs> uncomfortable shard of glass was missed. That's fine. It's only no, uncomfortable. It's totally no. not deadly in any way. It's totally fine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, thank you for the both the recaps and V. Um, very nicely done. Lots of lots of very good notes there. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> Cyrus will work on you. Uh, so we will find ourselves starting today as you know our little intro music fades to the distance here i believe we ended right in the beginning of one of your new adventuring days in the bright sunshiny totally not filled with murder city of Baldur's gate the low lantern is mortlock was telling you previously more than likely isn't open just yet it is rather early but you could make your way down there just to remember if you guys are on the map right now over here uh and you know it, it might be open by the time you get there probably won't be overly busy but maybe that's for the best depending on what you're trying to do uh morlock did say he would be here to assist in the either capture or killing of amrick his brother depending on what you guys decided but did tell you that it might be useful to have amrick as a bargaining chip when dealing with his mother. So is there anything that you would like to do either at the house, in the town, or anything else otherwise? Or would you like to just head to Low Lantern? I'm keen to get going. Yeah. Yes, I'm rather ready to head out. Excellent. Sure. It would take uh, a couple of hours to just to get down here, pushing through all the people, moving down through the city, and ending up somewhere in the uh, the docks districts here, to the south of the lower city. Low Lantern, as I said previously, is built into an old ship. It's an aging three-masted merchant ship that seems permanently docked on the east side of the harbor. It's definitely far past the point of being seaworthy, but it's converted and nice and functions as a tavern and gambling house. When you're looking at it, you can see in the, in the morning here that fog still obscures the low lantern until you get maybe within 100 feet of it. <clears throat> Where then its tall mass and creaking bulk come into view. The converted ship has rigging, but no sails, and is anchored to the wharf by thick chains. You can see a wooden staircase climbing from the wharf's edge to the main deck, and a lantern at the bow casts an eerie green light, which signifies that the tavern is indeed open for business. Well then, I suppose if we're after our man, it may be useful to not have too many other bodies in there. Yes, less people to get in the way. Although it will that. also make our arrival somewhat more conspicuous. So what is the plan exactly? Are we going to try and sneak up on him and grab him or just walk in and be like, hey, hi, remember your brother you tried to have killed? I think what we if, should... What if Francis just like puts him to sleep? <laughs> I mean, that Good work. might be a bit... It, I mean, I could try that. It, it doesn't last that long and it, it might be a bit obvious inside the tavern. I'd have to get quite close. Um, we could try it, but... Uh, I think we should at least head inside and take a look around and see if there's anything we can use in there first. I agree. However, I assume perhaps Americ or if he has people in his employ may somewhat immediately recognize our large friend here. I was just thinking that too. Good, good, good brain on you there. Thank you. I grew it myself. Question, Mortlock. Is your brother yes. as, um, as you are? Ah, tall? No, no, I'm, I'm the tallest of all the brothers. Um, okay. he's, not, he's shorter, but um, taller than my other brother. Okay, I don't know your other brother, so that doesn't help me at all. Oh, right. Is any um, other defining, I don't know, physical features um, that we should look out for? Right, for right, sure, sure, yeah. Um, he's, uh, he's got black hair. Mm -hmm. um, and um, this... Uh, facial hair that he's really fond of and it kind of comes across he's got a mustache but it, it, it comes into a beard on the bottom mm. um uh, they, i believe they call it a goatee okay dreadful things yes yes um he also is um 
generally wearing a lot of black. Likes the color black, thinks it's slimming, uh, and it makes him look more imposing. Speaking of imposing, is your brother a, a martial sort, or is he more the type to pay others to do his dirty work? Oh, Amrick really is a coward. So Marvelous. he's going to likely have some tricksies up his sleeves, or some people that he's hired. Mm. So possible secret exits. I would be surprised if he doesn't have a plan for that. All right. Well, what I propose is, Mortlock, you wait outside, making yourself right. somewhat inconspicuous, if that's possible. Easy. And should you, of course, and should you hear what I describe as a ruckus, perhaps you oh. could come to our assistance. Ruckus, right. Um, maybe Terrified. we need a code word. Do you like what if it's a, just a regular bar fight and uh, you don't need my assistance and then we'd blow our cover and you're well, just having a right row? Likely as a bar fight in the morning. Hmm. Have you been to any other bars in Baldur's Gate? Yes. Y yes. It's pretty likely. Okay. Yes, we have been in a few bar fights already, haven't we? Yep. That was right. right. You get a knife in your gut, let's get a point of beer. Well, if you hear one of us call out banana bread, banana. You know, to come what is a church. banana? <laughs> it's a type of foreign fruit. I read about it in a book once. Oh, I'm reading. It's somewhat I'm, phallic I'm and yellow. Good at that. Yeah. Right. That sounds um, like something I wouldn't put in my mouth, but understand. <laughs> That's the first time for everything, one. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Immediate degeneracy. Right, so I will disguise myself, and he, like, he grabs this like, kind of torn-up sailcloth piece off of one of these barrels over here and, like, wraps it over his head. He's clearly still Mortlock with a giant <laughs> maul strapped to his side, right? But he's, like, got it over his head a little bit. He's, right, and I'll be here all con inconspicuous-like, listening for the banana. Perfect. All right. Well, I don't don't get stabbed. So, if your brother's a coward, I'll turn to her and say, "What I propose is we use the good old-fashioned threatening behavior. Surely he'll rather give up others than see himself come to harm." Well, I, I will keep in mind, though, and more than like, he won't say anything or do anything that puts himself or mother in a bad position. So. Mm. He'll, he'll try to twist. He, he's very good with words. He likes to twist him around you, you know, get you all bundled up in him, and then you, your head's all swimming. Curious. Good to know. Well, perhaps he can give us other interesting information. Shall we? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so you step onto the main deck of the the low lantern here <clears throat> as you kind of clomp your way up the wooden stairs and onto the deck itself the main deck of the ship features these uh, old wooden steps that climb to the forecastle and aft castle another set of stairs that descend into the ship itself there is a, a padlocked wooden hatch fitted with windows that looks like it's a skylight for the deck below uh, the tavern proper down there visible through the hatches glass panes you do note that there are four dead seagulls lying on the deck and two ravens that are squawking at you from the crow's nest, a rough 40-foot climb up the ship's rigging. How do the seagulls look as though they've perished? Um, would you like to, to investigate the, the dead seagulls? Yeah, I'll have a look at them, make sure there's no arrows sticking out, you know? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So yeah, just roll the investigation, the obvious portion of which is there's no arrows sticking out of them as of right now, but you can get a, a better look if you go in there. It looks like they were tore up by something with, with a claws. 12, by the way. Wait, that's a no, it's a 9, a, sorry, I didn't That scroll. is a 9. That is that's a nine. math that's is not good. a 12. <laughs> uh, with a 9, you would know that they'd been kind of torn up. You see like uh, feathers and bits of them missing. Uh, so it looks like either hmm. like some kind of claws or, or some kind of um, biting had happened. Hmm. Could have been the ravens. Someone's dog. Ugh. We do also know there's imps flying around, so. Could right. be those. Hmm. Oh well. 
I'm somewhat larger than a seagull, so not too worried. <laughs> okay. Would you like to descend in? Yeah. Or yeah. anything else? Yeah. Right. We're descending, sure. just not into Avernus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, another basement, but this time it's on a ship, right? So we're just going into the different <laughs> basements of Baldur's Gate. Keep traveling Gate. downwards, we'll get there eventually. Well, yeah, sometime <laughs> you will arrive. Yeah, so you arrive into what is... Yeah, it's it's definitely not as busy as it probably would be later at night, but there are some people here and there are drinks being served. It does seem that there is a little bit of gambling going on. Um, but what you would note is that the cabin is full of mismatched wooden furniture, uh, including a, a bed with... Oh, sorry, this is the wrong thing. Uh, it is full of mismatched wooden furniture, like tables and chairs that seem to have just come from every which where. Um, there are probably six or seven people here as you take a brief look around uh the tavern lounge itself is is lit by these oil lanterns hanging from this eight foot high ceiling on some chains um you would note that there is a bar over to the side it seems to be tended by a, a kenku and uh, a woman with a crab sitting on her shoulder interestingly enough uh you would note that there does seem to be some bouncers here. They, they're they posted up on various different locations near the stairs, one by the door, and one across the way at the bow uh, of the tap room here itself. As you do walk in, the woman behind the bar here, she looks up and says, Oh, well, Matt, my name's Lorella Thundreth. People around here call me the captain. If you're thirsting for a beverage or looking to gamble, you come to the right place, but watch your step. Sometimes things get messy around here. Hmm. Good morning. Uh, nice to meet you. Oh, right. um, nice to meet you. I was wondering. Mm -hmm. Who's in charge here? I'm, I mean, obviously you are as captain. Um, right, right. This is my bar, so I would be the one in charge here. Yes. Um, Do you own the, but, the whole boat too? Yes, I own the whole boat. Oh. Mm -hmm. hmm. Would you How like a drink, you, or are you just uh, coming yes, out? Yes, I'd, I'd, I'd love a drink. What, yes, what do you have? Perfect. Uh, yeah, just uh, honestly, it's just some basic ales and some rather bottom of the barrel alcohol. But you know, it gets the job done for most of the. She gestures around to kind of this hodgepodge of clientele, the people. There's a, a <clears throat> you note now. There's a some humans. There's a Durgar. There's even a couple of Drow here as well. And a halfling, too. So, quite the assortment of patrons, right? Do you ever have any famous people here? Famous? Um, hmm. famous. Uh, famous for what? Oh, just, you know, well known royalty, uh, perhaps. Royalty. Uh, she kind of gives you a look. <laughs> I feel like you're you're dancing around something here that you so desperately want to ask, but you haven't just done it yet. Oh, I just I just would like to know if there's any famous people we could you know stargaze at, perhaps at the, a big at this, sun. At this point, I step behind Rowan. I just put a hand on her shoulder, just go. You're handling this marvelously. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you For the job. sake of all of yeah. our entertainment, please don't stop. She she smiles at you and is like. Well, yes. If you're looking for Amrick, he's downstairs. He runs his business out of there. He pays for, actually, honestly, quite a lot of the alcohol that comes to the bar here, so I let him run his little business downstairs. Mm. Did we find out what his business was? Asking money, him he's a money lender. Money, money launderer. Ah, oh, cool, cool. Lender. Okay. Lender. <laughs> lender, <laughs> maybe launder. <laughs> oh, <my user. laughs> Same maybe thing, both. Right? His rates yeah. are too high. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna get excommunicated. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, are we able to go and pop by and give him, you know, just say hi? Generally, if he if he's not busy with uh, another uh, one of his guests, yes, I I would expect so. It's early enough yet. You might catch him before his first appointments if you're looking to slip in. Does uh does Amaric attract any any trouble? Yeah. Amaric comes with um. <clears throat> some of his own um, protection. Uh, and trouble seems to avoid him due to the type of protection that he does employ. What would that like be? 
those guys. Uh, well, yes, yes. Uh, so some of so the, these up here, these are mine. These are my boys. So, um, you know, they'll conk some heads uh, if I ask them to. If things start getting damaged, honestly, if anyone starts a row up here, it's right well in attainment and does well with the gambling. So I kind of just let it happen most of the time. Um, but if things get a little out of control, they'll be the ones that handle it. He's got a couple of his own boys. And he's got, um, I'm not right sure if you call it a pet, but it's got wings, lots of spines, carries a trident, uh, looks rather terrifying. How big is it? Uh, it kind of crouches a lot, but you know, maybe about uh, it's like half half a human size. And you, you're fine with that sitting downstairs in your ship? I will reiterate, he pays for a lot of the alcohol that this, flows through this ship. This thing has a, uh, does it have horns and a pointy tail along with its trident? Yes, I think so. <laughs> Yay. Right. Somewhat unusual to be happy with that sitting downstairs, but money does talk, I, I suppose. I don't really ask a whole lot of questions. As you can see, we've got some drow that are here, a Durgar over on the other side. And what I think is actually a uh, disgraced, that she looks down at your badges, uh, flaming fist. Oh, I see. we stole these. Don't worry about it. You probably shouldn't have told me that. You have Drow Duragar and something that sounds awfully like a devil downstairs. Right, but this is information I can use to... You know what? <laughs> you just... You do what you need to do. Amrick's downstairs. You're more Marvelous. than welcome to come up here, have a drink, take a look around, gamble if you wish. Um, I do have to ask if you are going to shed some blood anywhere um make sure it's not on any of the like plushy furniture stains are hard oh. to get out uh otherwise we can scrub the floors clean <laughs> marvelous i see you run a very uh pragmatic ship here oh, i i do indeed uh and you watch as like this little crab scuttles down off of her arm and across the bar to where uh one of the humans is sitting there and it like picks up the coins and like makes these little clacky sounds and then bubbles start <laughs> spurting out of its mouth and it <laughs> clambers back on over and up to her shoulder and like just holds on to the coin and she takes it from him. Oh, Mr. Krabs always has to go get the money. She puts it in a pocket. I hear he does the, like crabs. money. <laughs> <laughs> Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> All right. Why don't we get a round of drinks and decide our next move? I think we should. Yes, I'll have one of the uh, rather grotty-sounding unspecified alcohol you mentioned earlier. Absolutely. A couple of copper for each of those. I'll, I'll put a couple of copper down. Right. Uh, just put on, on the on the counter, though. And Mr. Krabs is going to... And he, like, clambers down off and, like, waits for the coins just pinching. <laughs> I very carefully <laughs> place one in each of his... <laughs> <laughs> Scrambles away. Did it take you long to teach him that? What a cute. He's amazing. Honestly, he um, did it on his own the first time that he showed up. Um, after I summoned him, he seemed real keen on the shiny stuff. So he's a bit of a kleptomaniac then. He seems he's, incredibly uh, useful. Very useful. He very seems more pinchy. useful than Cyrus. We can he's swap if you like. Oh, it's him. Like just, just... Yeah. It's like... <laughs> oh, I didn't notice you, big, tall, and tattooed. I'll Hi. swap him for the crab. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This no. is this is my little familiar. Mr. Krabs has to stay with me. Oh, but I... I like Cyrus. Right, that's it. I'm taking magic initiates and I'm summoning my own Mr. Krabs. <laughs> <laughs> no respect. No respect. Don't, don't oh, worry, Cyrus. We, we wouldn't trade you. So I'm you not going to trade anyway. <laughs> I'm a person. <laughs> you need to get a round of this whatever clear alcohol is in these somewhat smudged glasses. Um, one of them, Rowan's, has definitely got a chip out of the edge, and so you kind of rotate the glass around to not cut yourself on it. Um, it burns all the way down. Great. Lovely. Get the job done. Um, Where do you find this stuff? Uh, you know, I don't really ask too many Ooh. questions. It's bad for business. I like, um, I'm going to, I'm going to drink it and they're all like in pain and I try yeah. to like mimic their kind of facial expressions. Do you and... put up the visor to consume it? 
Oh, well, no, there, there's like, I, so I'm just gonna uh, have it and I'll just, just like turn around. Splash yourself in the face with it. <laughs> kind of like, <laughs> splash. <laughs> it was great. Interesting way to consume that, but you know, I'm not one to judge and you paid for it. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right, so downstairs. Uh, are there any, I don't know, is there anyone else downstairs? This is just, is oh right uh, i have a couple of, i have a bartender down there uh one of my boys but really not going to do anything if you decide to start any trouble because amrick and i have a deal here how about you just go make your money lending deal get whatever you need i see that you come in plenty armed which whether or not that's a good decision i'm not rightly sure just yet but you know uh just uh be careful down there Yes, it just occurred to me we probably should try to not blow a hole in the ship if anything does happen. Oh, please don't. Uh, this is literally my entire livelihood. My whole life is this ship How now. How did you come to own this ship? I'm just figuring out. Well, um, actually, if believe it or not, I used to be an adventurer. And, well, a couple of things led to each other and I ended up with a deed to a ship. Wait, that happens to up- us. How, we have a ship that, how, too. We keep forgetting so, about it, but we do actually we do. You own have a ship. ship too. Yes. We do. How, how, how did you, you win fall? yours? Well, well, uh, well, so I did a job mm-hmm. and uh, there was gold promised. And upon delivery of said gold, there was no gold, but just the deed to a ship, which I was told would equal the amount of gold. It did not. But I kind of also was tired of getting stabbed. So... Started a bar. Uh, Mr. Krabs and I settled down. And now we run this lovely house of degeneracy. Lovely. Hmm. We killed pirates for ours. Oh, that's a good one. Have you thought about turning it into a bar? Not until now. Why are you encouraging competition? That's that's not a good business Well, I might have a franchise opportunity for you if you would like to talk about it at some point in time. Now, I have th- I have the low lantern here, but just think, what if we have two low lanterns? One on the east side of the harbor and one on the west side of the harbor. Would ours be called the high lantern? I, the I, think, lantern? I think, we, yeah, maybe, maybe we could do that. Could we, we should set the lantern edibles? a little bit higher. Right? Sounds, okay. sounds like a good earner, I suppose. Right, but uh, we are going to need an don't influx we have a job to do? cash we to do. make this work. We do. Hey, we'll even talk more about reason this a little for you later. To, to talk we... to Amrik and get some money so we can start this bar. Wonderful. Y- well, in yes, that case, we'll talk su- to him about uh, actually, that. Actually, we do want to get there before his first appointment, so we should likely do, do that. that. Right now, let's go talk about a bar. Yes. Right, perfect. You uh, enjoy yourselves. Uh, come back and get a drink if you like. There is a bar downstairs if you would like uh, to, to get another drink <laughs> there. But Mr. Krabs will not be there to take your coin, so you'll just have to give it to uh, my Kenku bartender. That's infinitely more disappointing. I'm going to give him a coin. <laughs> just say, just... <laughs> but just kind of, yeah, just wanders away, <laughs> clambers back up on her arm and drops it into her pocket. <laughs> that whole day. I'll be broke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you are more than welcome to head downstairs. <clears throat> the uh, The sounds of, you know, the bar upstairs kind of fade behind you as you're down more in the the middle of the ship here. As you move down, you would note that this lounge has no windows, but it does contain a bar, couches, coffee tables, and other tables where, if it were more busy, people would likely be seen gambling or socializing or something like that. As you turn from where you go down the stairs and look across towards the aft section of the ship, you can see what is more than likely Amrik Vanthamper sitting at the very edge. It seems that he has commandeered a pair of couches and a coffee table near the aft wall and has made it some kind of personal office. You do note that there are a couple of guards here, most of them facing away from Amrik, which makes you think that, okay, these are more than likely his guys. But the most interesting thing is going to be the devil that sits on the edge of the couch 
next to Amrick's shoulder. Mm-hmm. He seems to be studying some papers, leafing through a journal of some kind, and has not looked up to see who's here, or acts as if he even cares about who's arrived. What would you like to do? Is the devil looking at us? Is it interested? Oh, it absolutely is looking at you. The From what you can see here, three guards and the devil have not stopped looking at you since you got down here because you are the only people other than the Kenku bartender down here at all. Hmm. I don't like the look of that thing. I guess I'll just clear my throat to uh, see if Amaric pays us any attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You clear your throat. And... Uh, hello. Uh, who are you? We're a group of associates that have come to talk to you about, uh, well, just, just business, really, you know, potential for business. Business. Hmm. I do like the sound of that, especially this early in the morning. Who will be doing the talking for you? You. Does it have to be one of us? We're equal shareholders. Well, I do like for at least one person to come sit over here in front of me. You know that the couch on the other side is about the size for one person. <laughs> <laughs> Turn back to the group. One moment. I'll say to V and Rowan. Look, I'm going to be awfully blunt. If anybody gets stabbed sitting down, I've been stabbed quite a lot recently, and I think that you two would fare better than me. I've got stabbed last time we had gotten to a... Yes, but you have that I... great big hulking I'm armor fine. on. I'm and V fine. is great big hulking armor, for goodness sake. I, I, I okay, could do fine. it. No. I think if we said V. She's very unassuming. Well, he, Maybe. he might ask me to take off my helmet if I'm talking to him. Yeah, but here's the thing. Look, find that rude. look, he's trying to intimidate us with the devil and all the, you know smarminess and whatnot but if that devil's sitting there staring at us just send v over there her sitting there staring at you look at her she's the citadel walking gosh okay i uh, i'll be intimidating excellent i believe in you you can do it <laughs> i support you entirely in this endeavor <clears throat> sure so v you step forward to go sit on the couch across where, where does everyone else arrange themselves? And, you know, let's make it a little bit easier. Might as well just throw you down on this, just in case, you know, something terrible happens I'm going to be here. as far away from the devil as I'm I can gonna, be. I'm going to stand behind V, like a like an enforcer. Right, right, right. Like arms. the devil behind yeah. Amrick here. Yeah. You're going to do the same thing. I'll jump on the thing. opposite side of his desk and crouch yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. Stand <laughs> <behind> <laughs> <me>. <laughs> I'll stand behind V. Pull out a little fork and be like, yeah. He was intimidated. Exactly. <laughs> I have my own trident. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Uh, yeah. I mean, feel free to to maneuver your. Sure. I, your I I'm just gonna get right behind you. Can I, can I fit there? Like. Yeah. 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 You're fine. You're kind of like leaned up against <laughs> yeah, the wall. Yeah. Exactly. That's even better for threatening pose, right? Yeah. Absolutely. And row, oh, row, row, and you're just gonna go chest to chest with one of his guards here. Is that the <laughs> just standing? Uh, for... Sup. <laughs> I can't move. I'm just. I'll just hang hang around here. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. You lean against one of the like the main poles yeah. here in the center. Cyrus, are you just gonna like sit in this couch and face away from everyone? No, 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 no. I'm I'm sitting on like the back of the couch with oh, my okay. staff just holding it like this, just like sure. Yeah, I like that. Looking. I like that pose a lot. Francis All right. at the bar. <laughs> Francis, did you go to the bar? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll sit at the bar, but I'm not I'm talking to the Kenku. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'll I'll try to do that like tough guy thing where they like clean their uh, nails with a knife. <laughs> oh sure, sure, sure. Yeah, you pull out a, a knife there. It's <laughs> <laughs> you, you do know that, like, when you place the knife on the like the table, as you like begin to do that, this one here is such like looking directly at you. Hmm. Give him a wink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Amrick, as as V sits down, says, "Good, welcome. Let's conduct some business then. What is it that you had in mind?" Um, and, and I'm, I'm gonna, like, try to, like, sit up straight as, like, you know, more intimate, like, look a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. and definitely in, uh... <sighs> Would you mind 
the visor on your helmet. I do like to see the person that I eventually make a deal with. Uh, I don't like showing my face. I had an awful accident many years ago. Ah. It's terribly pussy. It <laughs> might pop. <laughs> Would that my brother Mortlock had the uh, same decency to cover his face then. But I understand. I would not want to look at you anyways. How about a drink then? Maybe it'll take some of the pain away of your existence. Oh, we actually got a drink upstairs before we started. Oh, what's another drink then? Uh, yeah. At least two? Uh, and he like looks back at Hugo leaning. Like, one for everyone then. Good. One for everyone and this little Kenku bartender like walks around with these essentially just shot glasses full of something. Now, and Amrick takes it, lifts it, gives it a sniff. And like, You'll find that this is much better than the things that they have upstairs. And he downs it quickly and places the glass on the table and says, when you complete your drink, we can conduct this business. Can I uh, slight a hand and pretend to drink mine? You can certainly try. Oh, fuck. Set myself up for failure here. Uh, you do know, Hugo, that like you're not like people are watching. Now, are people watching V or you? It's hard to tell, but you are in the area, right, of everyone paying attention. That is true. Hang on, sorry, I'm just, <laughs> just making sure. Can my psionic power help me if I fail this? this? Um, uh, no. Can I psychic yeah. them to make them forget they saw me drink it? <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> you see nothing. Eleven. Okay. Um, what do you do with the drink? Like, what I, is your I would plan? Like, I would, so I would basically, like, pretend to take the shot and essentially just, like, harm the drink for now. Okay. Sure. Uh... The devil says something in a language uh, you don't understand. In in what language? Cyrus would. An in infernal. <laughs> What's he say? He leans, roll me a perception check for this, because he leans to Amrick here to, like, say something that under his you know, infernal breath. I only got an eight. <laughs> an eight. Uh, so I, I think you would hear part of it. And it's definitely something to do with the drink, Right that that hugo was having having you're not sure of the entire context of it i'm just gonna pay attention to the devil by the way i did not drink my drink i just uh set it down mm -hmm. amrick is distinctly just watching v just just watch yeah see i figured, what I figured why um yeah uh, th thank you for, for much very much for this and uh of course. but out of courtesy and i'm gonna pick up the drink and then kind of turn back toward hugo towards the wall uh huh, and and uh, like the visor will come up, like, like it'll like, you'll hear the just sound of the bit. visor. Yeah, yeah, no, you'll just hear the sound. But I'm actually not going. I'm just letting steam out. I'm not actually gonna open it. And I'm gonna take the drink and I'm gonna see if I can like put it in my hand and like the, have the try and palm it as well. Yeah, all like, right. It's a sleight of hand. I feel like I I would, because I don't want to open it up. Eighteen. 18. Yeah, and, but the glass disappears, or you just dump it. No, no, down just your dumping arm. the yeah, just dumping okay. the liquid. So she's like bending. Yeah, and then you and you put you turn around and put the glass back on the table. Mm -hmm. Right afterwards. Yes. Yep. Oh, I appreciate your courtesy. Now, what do you need money for? Well, you see, we recently came into a deed of a ship similar mm. to the, this. And we would like to turn it, we talked to uh, the owner upstairs and we're thinking about expanding to also have a bar similar to this. Hmm. Competition. Franchise. Franchise. Ooh, I do like the sound of that. And I would be an invested stake in both of these bars then. With you coming to me first. Interesting, interesting. Now, what is your business plan? Well, we don't have a lot of experience with these type of matters. Mm. And... Yes, you are so a curious-looking bunch. Not one I would expect to open 
A bar. Maybe, maybe that one. And he points over at Francis. That one looks like he owns a bar. <laughs> Hear that, Francis? I'm Think about just, bartending. Uh, I'm a retired adventurer, so. <laughs> oh, retired. Carry a lot of blades on you still for being retired. Well, we're in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Purely for protection, of course. Smart. Very smart. So then what would you do, my helmeted friend? Well, you see, I'm in and out of places pretty often. I, I wouldn't be able to watch the bar, so I'm looking towards transforming it and, and just handling it off to someone else uh, as we work all together. I don't think that we would directly run. Hmm. Good. It's always better to own the thing than to work on a thing. I never understood why Lorella wants to do this all the time. It's dark and smelly and honestly full of just terribly ugly people. And, uh, present company clearly excluded except for, well, you know. He kind of just gestures over to V. Well, I could get you started. I have about 150 gold on me here. Uh, we can come to the terms of uh, interest and otherwise. Here is my standard contract. And he pulls out a long sheaf uh, scroll and places it down in front of you, V. It seems to be detailing some kind of contractual agreement here for the money lending. Well, wait now. Before we skip to... That uh, and I'm before I get to business with people, I um, I'm just gonna like look at Hugo, just like. Oh like, yes, I'll uh, I'll take a look at that. I'm her I'm her resident lawyer. Oh, um, if, good. If I if I may, uh, Mister Amrick, sir. Yes. As you can probably tell we're we're not super experienced in these matters, and would greatly appreciate your professional input on our establishment if a bar is the correct thing or if perhaps it should be something else would you be able to come and have a look would we be able to show you our ship we're only a persuasion check yeah you know, I'm, I'm just thinking someone with your experience would know exactly what a building is for that's is that the right thing a that is a 17 he looks like he goes, huh Yes, well, I do have quite a few engagements today. You are not my only appointment and or walk-in. People are always in need of money, especially in houses of gambling such as this. But yes, I do believe I could give it a look over, see what the potential is, and feel more secure in my investment. Would this be something that could happen today, perhaps? Tonight, maybe, after my last meeting. Potentially, do you, where is your ship? In the docks. Right, we are already in the Bumble docks. Yes. Do you, out, of, out of character, do we know where the ship is? No. Yeah, do we know where it is? <laughs> <laughs> I I read you, I le remember looking yeah, at the document. Yeah, you did, did it the, say on? Because I, I did got read the that. document, which gives you Do like I remember? the name of the thing. Um, you know that it is called the Uncivil Serpent. Oh uh, okay. yeah, that's right. You do not know where it is moored. Uh, where they put the dock, but you know that it is called the Uncivil Serpent, and you have a deed for it. Could I? Being a Baldur's Gate resident, could I, like, pull the name of a pier or a dock out of my ass? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you would know, like, what... You know that they were either numbered or named or yeah, whatever, like, and so for, like, for, for, for Hugo here... Far away from here. Hugo, are they numbered or named? We'll get numbered. Why not? Okay, yeah, so you would just give a number. Let's say there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 16 docks that they could be. It's a, a dock number 12. Ah, perfect. There you go. 
Doc 12. Uh, and for you, Hugo, you would note that this in your brain would be that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve on the west side. On the west side. <laughs> yeah, it would be on the west side of the harbor. Yeah, I'm gonna now. I'm I'm back over in the uh, the map, and I'm making one number twelve. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That one's number 12. Perfect. So, as you can see, it's in a totally different area and uh, wouldn't really steal the clientele away from this place. Right. One on the east side and one on the west. Perfect. Precisely. Right then. What's the name of your ship so I may find it on dock 12 this uh, evening? The Uncivil Serpent. Uncivil Serpent? Why does that name sound so familiar to me? Ah. Right, fine then. You may um, take the contract and think it over, but we will finish our deal later. What time Sounds would good. you like to meet us? Mm, let's call it just sundown. Okay. My last should be done then. And we might want to be somewhat, you know, civilian, less, uh, less, you know, curious than in here, perhaps, and I'll glance at the devil. Oh. Are you worried about Kashara? Uh, I'm he not comes worried wherever I go. I'm more worried about the attention that he or she may draw. You do know who I am, don't you? You're a moneylender called Amrik. I'm aware of that much. Do you know my last name? Haven't the foggiest. Vanthamper. Uh, does that mean anything to you? Hmm, one of the Dukes, I believe. I've never kept up with it too much myself. Correct. One of the High Dukes, Baldur's Gate. It's my mother. Now, if you think that I would go anywhere without my trusted friend, guardian, and boon companion, Kashara, then you are incredibly mistaken. All right. Didn't need to be so dramatic in saying it, but fine. So, well, Doc 12, sundown. All right, then, if we have no more business, <clears throat> um, how about another drink, then? And he waves his hand. And... Yeah. Uh, that's too much still in the morning. I uh, had a late night last night, so uh, I think it's best just we be on our way and, and read the document with a clear head. Hmm. Roll me deception. I tried. <laughs> oh, goodness. Six. Six. It, like, raises an eyebrow at you. Generally, when you're in the company of friends, you want to have a couple of drinks with them, especially when we're going to be so in bed together. Oh, we will, but three drinks this early in the morning is more than I usually take. Hmm. The we'll ugly one can't hold their liquor. Interesting. We'll have plenty cause for celebration this evening, I'm sure, so drinks are on us. Fine, then. Leave me be. I have a meeting soon. I will see you this evening on Pier 12. Marvelous. I look forward to it extensively. And yeah, you would be able to leave. Uh, he seems rather disappointed that you didn't want the drink, but, you know... <laughs> You'd be able to, to go. Would you just go back up to the main tap room or? I would be, as soon as I'm out of sight from the downstairs, mm -hmm. you just hear a very audibly, never make me do that again. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm oh. afraid I didn't quite understand just how sleazy that man was. If it's any consolation, V, I'm certainly going to murder the shit out of him when I get the opportunity. So, <laughs> I think we should hold any talk because didn't weren't we told those things can turn invisible uh imps can turn invisible yeah. this little guy's a devil this is a different type of of thing uh, i don't know if bigger. you've even seen imps before so all of it is still somewhat of a mystery i think unless francis for some reason has heard stories or legends no, I, I about was just... devils I was just playing on the fact that I don't know what an imp is or what an imp looks like. That, sure. To my knowledge, might be could, an imp. Could be an imp. True. Mm -hmm. Very true. He did say it doesn't leave his side, though. So would it be following us? 
don't think so. Hmm. Anyway, let's we go hatch a game to, plan. Uh, yeah, we need to catch up with Mortlock and let him know the plan. I think we should also try and find our ship and make sure we can move it to uh, Pier 12. That's a good point. Does any of us know how to sail? Mortlock should know, right? Should he? I don't know. He I'm seems sure... like he can do everything. I'm sure we sure could we find uh, someone, yes, to... someone at the docks. Oh, yes. yeah. to... Okay, let's go find the ship. But you, but wait, my hang, thinking on. Whoa, is hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do we want to admit to dock administrative or workers or whatever that we're in possession of what I seem to understand is quite a notorious pirate ship? It's under new management. Should it we should change be fine. the name? Well, that might work. Looking... It... We should have to paint it on or something, right? We should probably at least know, make sure it's still there. I yeah. think... Let's go find Let's it. Let's go find it. That's a good idea. We have until like sundown. That. Then we can change the name after. Let's yes. go find it. <clears throat> Rowan, that was a good idea, telling him to go to the dock. Well, I figured Dang we on. wouldn't get surrounded and have to deal with that devil. I'm, I'm Unfortunately, he's bringing the damn thing with, but, you know, maybe we can be sneaky-like and grab him and run or something. I don't know. So once we're once we're thoroughly outside of the uh, the tavern, I would I would just uh, sure. Let I the think party know. Unfortunately, something happens before you go outside the tavern. Oh God! Oh no! It's Mr. A cloaked Cram. figure <laughs> approaches. A what Armor, now? cloaked figure oh. approaches. Armor clanking with every step, and one gloved hand rests on the hilt of a long sword. The other pulls back a cowl to reveal the face of a teenager with brown skin, red hair, and a haunting gaze. The teenager approaches the bar and seems to order a drink from the Kenku there. And, well, she takes it. But she seems very much out of place. Is this where uh, Lorello was, or...? Yeah, so put okay. you guys up in the middle door. So Lorella's here. You got oh, a couple right, right. of drow here. There's a guard oh, and okay. you know some humans and the you know Durgar over here. This is just a you know, you're on a ship. Okay. What about her is signaling alarm bells? Uh her age, mostly. Um and I think Rowan, you would note that. She has a flaming fist badge. It seems to be attempting to, like, it's not taking it off, but it's like has it somewhat concealed. Okay. But she seems way too young to be here. Yeah. To be here, to be in the flaming fist, to do any of these things. Does that seem a little bit odd to you? Just to the group. Well, I heard they were getting somewhat desperate with the recruiting, but... <clears throat> There's a child, for Pete's sake. Hmm. I mean, yes. she looks as though she can handle herself, but... Just give me give me one second. I'm just going to head over to her. Do you still wear your Flaming Fish badge? Yeah. I mean, right. <laughs> hasn't gotten us in trouble yet. I should mention that I don't anymore. Because yeah, I don't what, I would, what I've been told by the people who interrogated yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, sure. Absolutely. So Rowan does. Because they said if they ever see me with the badge. Yeah. <laughs> so where do you, do you you go over next to her? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you do. Mm -hmm. And she sees you approach and kind of gives you a side eye and notes your badge. And her eyes go a little bit wide. And she kind of sits backwards. And you note that she shifts a little bit. So her sword is an easier reach. Now, no need to be confrontational. Just coming to say hello to a fellow member of the Flaming Fist. Hello. Right. Fellow member of the Flaming Fist, of course. <laughs> you are Flaming Fist, right? Uh, yes. Yes, I, I am. Do I believe her? I don't think there's an insight check necessary here. She's terrible <laughs> at lying. She is awful at lying. No. <clears throat> no, you do not. All right, my young friend. Where did you get that? What are not you that, doing with it? Not that young. <clears throat> Certainly younger than me, so... Mm. Are you part of the Flaming Fist? Is that badge yours? This badge is mine. 
she's gonna like slowly reach downwards towards her sword. There's no need for that. Let's not start a bar fight this early in the morning. I haven't stretched yet. Oh, you might want to get on it pretty soon. Uh-huh. You don't know who I am? I don't know who you are, but I am concerned about you. I don't want to harm you. Roll with persuasion. She seems scared. 20. Yeah, she seems scared. And, but you're kind of disarming demeanor, right? Like you haven't made a move towards a weapon. Mm -hmm. She's just been scared about this. You've just been talking. Yeah. So she tell me what's wrong. Relaxes a little bit. I just recently arrived in the city and, um, well, I came with some, some people, some refugees. And um, I ended up cornered by one of your brothers in arms and he wouldn't let me get away. I wounded him and took his badge and, and, and fled. Um, stealing his cloak as well. Um, I've heard on some of the streets I'm a bit wanted, but the badge has been incredibly useful when people don't know. I've just been cautious recently. Uh, that's all. Was this man trying to hurt you? She like looks up at you, her eyes all big. Yes. He was trying to stop us from um, sneaking inside Baldur's Gate. You know they close the gates, right? They don't let anyone else in? Mm -hmm. Do you know what it's like out there? Do you know what happened? I can only imagine. Elturel is gone. Is that where you're from? She leans in close. She's... I was training as a hill rider there. And El Terrell, after the companion's light went out, uh, turned black and the city sunk to the ground. And when I was able to ride back to the city, it was a crater where it used to be. And so I um, took it upon myself to gather as many refugees as possible. And I led them here, hoping that Baldur's Gates a sister city to our El Terrell would let us inside, and yet they did not. So we snuck in. And things as they were, um, I may have pulled a blade on one. That's very brave of you. Try and save all those people. Where are, where are your friends now? I I dare not see them or try to find them if it brings down the wrath of your people. Can Hugo, you Francis. Talk, talk mm -hmm. some sense into them, maybe? Uh, it, it was an accident, honestly. I, I mean, He wouldn't let me by. And... I guess uh, when I'm called over, I'd stroll up and go, yes, uh, what, what is it? Is everything all right? Everything's all right. This is... Uh, sorry, I didn't catch your name. Mm. I'm, I'm Rowan. Re Rhea. Mm. Rhea. Rhea Mantelmorn. Oh. Uh, she's from El Torel. I'd, uh, I'd reach out Just, a hand to shake her hand. I'd say, Hugo Fitzwilliam. Uh, pleasure to meet you, Rhea. She takes it, and she has a surprisingly strong grip. Well, you can... uh. Certainly make yourself welcome in our company. You seem to be just as out of place as all of us. Is that right? I mean, this one, Rowan, seems in place, badged up and everything. Oh, yes. Uh, the lot of us technically joined the Flaming Fist, although, uh, I mean, you're wearing a badge yourself, aren't you? Uh, yes. Long story. Uh technically joined as well. What? I'm assuming I see that she's obviously scared of the Flaming she's, Fist. She's terrible. Yeah. She's mm. so bad at lying. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll crack a smile right and here. lean in a little bit and say, Ray, if I'm being perfectly honest, I joined up to rob them, so I wouldn't worry too much. 
<laughs> see, we're, we're kind of on unofficial business right now. This is just a good way to help she's, us get around. Uh, Rossi, she's probably the only one who actually kind of cares about being in them. Let's be real. I mean, I'd rather not be in any form of God or whatever, but, you know, here we are. Happy band of misfits. Yes. Let's go and do things and save the world, etc., etc. Save the world? I, wait. Uh, forget I said that for now, but, um, yes. If you need a place to stay, and I don't want to overstep my bounds here, but just to lie low for a bit. You're collecting more NPCs. We are collecting more NPCs. Don't worry, I, uh, I seemingly <laughs> run one of the finest hotels in Baldur's Gate now, so <laughs> yeah. you don't pay, and uh, you steal my clothes, and you're more than welcome mm -hmm. to take part if you'd like. Oh, I, I, I would never steal from someone who's... I don't feel too the, bad about it, I would, so... It's the knighthood fine. would... Oh. Um... That is very generous of you. Uh, I, well. Because to be perfectly honest, hiding out in taverns is going to get you found. <laughs> what are you hiding uh, from, though? Uh, well, uh, Rowan, I think. Uh, you, all of you. But you're kind of in weird tepid waters with the whole flaming fist thing. There are some that are rather diehard and paying attention to the fact that I am a wanted fugitive. So um, oh. I appreciate that you don't, and she looks pointedly at Hugo, want to turn me in, right? No, I wouldn't dream of it, truly. I... Right. Um, so be told, we do have far bigger concerns. So if you would like to come with us, please do. I, I also oh, have nice. much larger concerns. Um, Thavius Krieg. Uh, hmm. High Overseer of El Terrell. Yes. yes. It's supposed to be in the city somewhere. Here. And oh. I, I need to tell him what, what happened in the city that fell and that his people need him. I don't think oh. you're going to want to do that. No, I'm pretty what? sure he knows. And I'm pretty sure that he is involved with that. What? What? No, 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 no. No, that's... He would never... He would, we, if you just talk to him, I, I'm sure he could. Raya, I think people might be capable of things that you don't necessarily assume. He, but he's a high overseer. He, uh, he's a priest of, of Torm. Oh, he's a priest of something. It's not Torm, though. And El Terrell is an, entirely dedicated to, to Torm. Well, and... Tell me this, Raya. How do you find yourself in the Low Lantern of all places? Because if you're looking into Thavius Creek and you yes. bump into us here, I'm not right. sure I entirely believe that you're here without purpose. The Low Lantern. Um, I heard that Amric Bantham her might know where he is. Hmm. Well, we know where he is. The problem is... Amric or Thavius? Oh, both, really. Both. But Thavius but is who I meant. You both? Both? Where? Where is he? Amrick's downstairs. Right. Thavius is staying with their mother. The Duke? I believe so. Well, no, then then all we need to go, do is to, to, to go to the Duke's house and... That's a marvelous way of getting yourself killed. And I agree, we do need to go to the Duke's house. However, perhaps not on uh, such an informative mission as you may have planned. So, what's your what is your plan? Well, I don't know if we should divulge all of that yes. just yet. We're still working on the fine details. Say, Cyrus is just yeah. like making choking motions in the back. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so you're from El Terrell, and I'm assuming you're all too familiar with what happened there, of course. Uh, we would like to prevent similar happening to here. Did you ever no notice that it's, you know, somewhat convenient that Thavius Krieg wasn't in the city when it fell? But yes, he was supposed to be here on, on business, mm. right? And convenient. And, and as far as Baldur's Gate, I don't, I don't care. The rats can eat it. I just want to know what happened to my home. You don't really seem like the type who truly means that. Would you see the city 
descend into the hells as well? Think of all the life that would be lost. She looks at you rather pointedly, very seriously. If I get my family back, I would sacrifice everyone. Hmm. Well, then you have good motivation to believe what we're telling you. For if you lead yourself astray any further, that won't help things. Okay, how about this? You take me with you then. And, and let, let, give him a chance, a moment, to, to, to tell you what, what's really happening. Before you, you know, do the whole, and she like mimics the Cyrus <laughs> choking thing. I, and I mean, can you handle yourself? I noticed you're wearing armor. It seems to be yours. I I'm a trained hell rider, yes. And for Hugo, Francis, and some people around, the Hell Riders are like the premier paladin force of El Terrell. Okay. So righteous peeps. Yes. So you're sworn to Torm, then, I assume. Yeah. So El Terrell as a whole is a theocracy dedicated to Torm. That is like their oh. whole thing. They think they are blessed by Torm because of the, the blessings of what they call the companion. The companion is this bright, orb that sits above the city and the, the light of the companion blesses them with, you know, Torm's light. Mm. And Torm is um, the who of what uh, now? Sat <laughs> above the city? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's still there, it's just way above now. Torm, <laughs> Torm's a god whose portfolio consists of duty, loyalty, righteousness, and law. Okay. Symbol of which is a oh. right-hand gauntlet held upright with the palm forward. Well, you're going to get on famously with Cyrus. Yes. Not the sun god? I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, so we're we trying to make our guests feel welcome. Come on. Praise now. the sun. I'm not actually, that was out of character. I'm not over there. I'm over here just like, we need to leave this bar. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, we were just hanging out. What are we doing? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, you'll be far less conspicuous when you're among us. So let's go. <laughs> and don't drink. You're too young. <laughs> I've drank, I've drank before. And it is to like, accentuate the point she picks up the drink that had just been sitting there most of the time and downs it immediately and you remember how it burned rowan uh mm -hmm. the face that she makes very much telling and that she's trying to keep it straight and is failing miserably you might want to cough it's gonna hit you in the back of the throat right about now <coughs> there we go all right let's go yeah uh, right uh, lead, lead on then uh and so we get this like you know overarching thing that says More NPC. Uh, Rhea Mantleborn joins the party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, Rhea, speaking of uh, your interest in, in Amaric Van Thumper, uh, you, well, you're about to meet one of his brothers, just to warn you. Uh, his, his, his brothers? Yes, he's outside. He's the absolutely ginormous bloke with a club. You might the have, one that's wearing like some sailcloth over his yes. head. Don't yes. try to tell him it's not good. Oh. Right, He's okay, then. Best. He is. Not is this like when you guys are like you know, coming out of the yeah. bar and onto the deck yeah. at this point? We kind of like see him leaning against a couple of barrels, just this sailcloth <laughs> over his head. Yeah, I think as you as you guys come out here, you would note that um, the fog has kind of like burned off for the day, right? And the, the sounds of the bar fade behind you and Mortlock sees you there. What, where's my brother? Were you not successful? Slight change of plans. Yes. Um, we're going to get him on our territory, which is now apparently Dock 12 or Pier 12. I don't know where that is, but we'll find it. Pier and 12 we're going... is on the west side. Yes, there you go. Uh, and then we're going to ambush him there. See. But why not just bash him over the head here? And who's the girl? He's got a devil. <laughs> well, it's gross. And he two questions with very different answers. Girl. The first one is... It's the bleeding morning, and if we bash him over the head, we're going to have to drag him through the entire city in broad daylight. That seems about right, yeah. Or we could bash him over the head at night, and then carry him through the city at night. Why do we need to do it somewhere else? We could come back here at night. Well, because he's got his boys. His retinue of boydom are here. and His retinue of boydom? Yes. Do you think his, his backstreet boys won't come with him? <laughs> Well, Backstreet might be back, all right, but I'm not sure. It's a risk that we're willing to take, and it'll be more secluded than a busy tavern. Plus, we'll be more in sync on our own turf. <laughs> Especially <laughs> if we live the Westlife. 
<laughs> Look, I'm just saying we're taking the necessary steps to get where we need to go. Well, where's Hui <laughs> up then? It's what, 98 degrees outside? I'm burning up out here. Right. Yeah, you oh, got your and sail and everything. The girl is our new friend, Rhea, who's a delightful young lady who's hellbent on getting her family back and currently believes Thavius Krieg and your mother to uh, be entirely devoid of blame, but we're hoping to change her perspective on that soon. Oh, oh, you're right wrong, little lady. Thavius Krieg's all up in it. Oh, yes, Rhea, this, made... is, this is Mortlock. Oh, um, hello, I'm he's, Mortlock. He's actually surprisingly nice, despite the fact he looks utterly terrifying, and I mean that as a compliment. Thank you, I think. Um, yeah, some people get the wrong idea from me with the big old scars on the side, big hammer, big muscles, kind of scary looking, missing some teeth. But you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty good bloke and I'm a right good chap to have a drink with, if I do say so myself. Exactly. And also, he's about nine feet tall and has a giant club. And if we're going to be fighting people, might be useful. Yes. Eight feet, ten inches, but you're getting pretty close. I was just picking you up, Mortlock. Come on, man. Mm. Um, just, just to, uh, just to, by the way, um, I can uh, uh, speak the language that that um, monster uh, spoke, and um, I, I was a little far away. Uh, my bad, I suppose. But um, he said something about you and your drink. Oh, yes, I do. I'm actually still carrying it. Whoops, I'll just... Like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, my... oh, yeah, wait, I've been palming this the entire uh, time. I didn't yeah. fancy drinking strange drinks given to me, and I'm, I'll just actually toss the liquid contents into the dock and okay, probably yeah, kill the, the fish harbor. population of Baldur's Gate. But... Yeah, it's totally fine. You see my, like, oh, my hand opening, it's just like... And there's just, like, liquid that goes down. Yeah, I'll just pop the shot glass on a crate by the, uh, yeah. <laughs> by the low light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. C Cyrus, you... You couldn't speak... Or understand elf then when we were at the elf song tavern but you understand whatever that thing speaks uh par part of my birth gifts i suppose from uh the great sun god um yeah i can understand that i can understand uh the, the good ones too though um and then obviously i can understand uh us speaking um well it's yeah I, I don't really like the the evil voice it I don't like the way it sounds. It's just very, very grating. Mm. A lot of crackles. Yeah. While they're chatting, I'm looking at all the boats. I'm like stepping right. away, which like craning one? my neck, trying to figure out which, which one where the frick out yeah. boat is. Uh, yes. I, I think I we mean, should there's maybe. Gotta be, there's got to be. There's got to be some 41 boats here at least. Oh God, <laughs> All right, roll me a perception check, Rowan. Yeah. All right. Let's see how good I'm at finding boats. All right. All right. There it is. <laughs> 20 yeah. oh pretty good yeah 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 uh you're like looking around you're looking where all these ships are docked and stuff like that <clears throat> is that a natural 20 no Un yes. unnatural yes. wait it is yeah it is oh but you had it on disadvantage so it was yeah. highlighting the wrong thing oh right but Oops. that's okay with that i think you're you're well enough equipped to figure out like wait just like look across. It's just like moored boat? in the uh oh, nice. just to the south here. Oh. Right. Okay. Well our boat's not on the west side, unfortunately, but but there it is, if we want to use it, if that's the plan. I mean, we should probably go take a look. It did belong to somewhat of a prestigious pirate before we killed them. Perhaps there's something good on board. Let's or there might look. be squatters on board. There may Let's also be squatters. That's our property. Let's <laughs> kick them off. Thankfully, we have a very handy bay to throw them into, so... There was two... Two of those men that ran away after our fight. We let them go. Or oh, yeah, it was away. like Bill or something. Oh, yeah, but <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't really be able to find Bill, would we? Oh, you no, don't no, know you're talking about the Bill first is. fight? Yeah. Oh, no, there are fir our, and the Elf Sarn oh. Tavern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, our very Two first of fight of the away. pirates, they ran away. Awkward. They took the well, ship. I'm going to be bloody pissed now. Well, I see the ship, so it's fine. Let's go. Oh, yeah, marvelous. <laughs> if they're on the ship. <laughs> if they're on the ship. They're oh, certainly not on the ship. GTFO. Cool. They'll remember us. True. They might not like us, but... Anyway, I say we make our way to the ship. Sure. And you will make your way to the ship, but we are going to take a brief 
break Lovely. before that happens. You know, so we can also go get our uh, terrible alcohol or something like that. <laughs> and you guys just keep collecting alcohol. your NPCs. You keep giving you know? them to us. You're you sending us to hell. I'm more. making an army first. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, what happens if you have to leave them all behind? Right. We're going to hold hands with Mortlock, and then you can't separate us. <laughs> oh, wait, I gotta go grab great. my skeletons. We yeah, hang turn on. Them into servants. Oh, no. <laughs> well, uh, I found you guys a boat. Yeah. So you want to do your boat thing? Yeah, yeah, boat time. Uh, actually, maybe we should do it, but ambush them back at Hugo's or something like that. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> maybe now we don't get them now. Yeah. That's fine. We go to a you zoo? don't need to. That'd be nice. <laughs> That's That's just going to have work. a zoo. Let's go there. <laughs> I didn't want to do this anyways. Uh, it's prepared for next time. Who cares if you eventually remember that you have a boat again? Uh, it's probably worth quite a lot of money. Yeah! <laughs> I think that's just ignore the fact you and own a pirates. ship now. It's pirate. They can be looting and stuff. It could... Yeah, they could be. Oh my god, um, let's finance a pirate crew. Oh. Yeah, but they're just, pirates. What if they just never come the back? Behind. They'll all beat the yeah. shit out of them, Craig. How are you going to beat the shit out of them? They're pirates. They're never coming I'm going to hide in the rowboat on the back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hire yourself to like, the master. I knew you'd betray me. I was in the crow's nest all along. I'm like withered and sunburned. <laughs> Does anyone have any water? <laughs> no, First I need a glass get, of water, then your, I'll kill you. You get your water from the uh, the blood of the crows that perch up, uh, uh, on top of yeah. yes. <laughs> oh. uh. yeah. Hey, look, if you have to survive, you have to survive. That got real dark. You it's survival. are walking down, what is this, pier three and two quarters because it has four piers jutting out of it here. Um, but this is where you would find the uncivil serpent. So it's moored here on the east side of the harbor, and as you approach with your new NPC companions, uh, you would note that there are people on the ship. There's people walking around the deck. How many people? We're, yeah. Uh, roll me a perception check. Observe the situation. Take it in. Really percolate with it. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen? Okay. With the 15, as you, like, sit and wait and watch a little bit, you're like, uh-huh, so there's uh, at least eight. Do we recognize them from our kerfuffle in the bar? Do you recognize them from the kerfuffle? Two of them escaped, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. If it's above a five, we'll see. Okay, it's below. Uh, the Of the ones that you see on the deck, no, you do not recognize any of them. Okay. Um, huh. Do they look piratey? Well, how would you classify piratey? Peg leg and a parrot and Were I to see them in a nautical setting, would yes. I describe them as a rogue, a knave, or a ragamuffin? If it's any of the three, they're piratey. Ye yes, absolutely all three. Uh, I'll turn to the size like, that you can see. They're piratey, yes. Um, Hugo, do you happen to have the deed on you? I, you I think I did put it in my backpack, actually, yes. Uh, I'll, I'll pull out the deed and... Um, we might need that. I don't know if they're going to respect the terms and conditions of the deed, really, but we can certainly try. I mean... What does the deed legally... say? Does it just say I own the ship? Does it say I'm the captain? It says whoever owns... Who, I think it... I believe the deed says something about, like, whoever holds this. Whoever holds it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who wants yeah. to be captain? Me. Me. I want to be captain. After that, I don't want to do Rowan, your... You've got a flaming fist badge on. And you look like oh. a guard, so oh, fine. gonna go ahead then with a strong no on that Francis one. Let Francis be a captain. Yes, I think Francis is the gentleman pirate, perhaps. Yes. Here you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hand you the earth deed. Great. He's got a piratey name as well. It's great. He doesn't. He doesn't drink the Francis, rum. He drinks Chardonnay. I know that Villiers have experience on uh, ships anyway. So. <laughs> well, so what? Should we go up and ask them to leave, or perhaps? Well, take find out what they're doing. Crew? And then ask them if they can move we a could, boat for yeah, us. Yeah, we could get them to sail across the docks and then either leave or be our crew, I suppose. <clears throat> uh, right. I will approach. And so you approach with your retinue behind you? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, uh, and I think you're you're greeted by a rather swarthy looking gentleman with clearly a peg leg and potentially a parrot on his shoulder. <laughs> and he sees you for what oh, you want. Hello, my name is Francis Villiers. Um We have acquired the deed to this ship. Um, I can't help but notice the deed. Yes, it is the proof of ownership. Now, you may wish to dispute that if you want, but I don't. I don't really have time for it, I'm afraid. Um, we need the ship back. Um, we, we would this be happy- This is dead eye ship. What do you mean you own it? Did we- Oh, he's dead now. Yes, he- We- 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 we did kill him, I'm afraid. You killed Captain Dead Eye? And like, there's this little <laughs> gnome up at the top. He's like, You killed Captain Dead Eye? <laughs> he wouldn't leave. <laughs> you guys just openly laughing at this Yeah, point. just- <laughs> He's like looking at horror. I'm afraid so. He was the aggressor, though, I should say. It was a fair fight. It was fair fight. That doesn't sound like a captain at all. Oh, we well, made yeah, it. There were more of them, them than us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, true. It was fair from our perspective. But I had a staircase. So, why? Right, you're why the rest of the crew never came back. Well, yeah. Yes. I back. did pin one of your friends to a bar with an arrow, I think. Sorry. I took on the rest. Yeah, what? she did awful things to- I mean, she, yes. She's quite terrifying. Well, we're, we're pretty terrifying too. Um... I'm sorry, uh, but like, have guys, you seen- what, what do you think your captain would want us to do here? Yeah, kind of oh, hang on a second, we're going to team huddle. And they're gonna like, go over and like, gather together and just start talking to each other and, you know. Throwing around varying different pirate banty language, and uh, then they break <laughs> and go back to the thing, and he, and he tur tur storms down to you, and with his peg leg, stomp, stomp, stomp. I'm sure we're gonna have to fight you for that ownership thing. I want the deed. We're sailing out of here with it. Hang about, hang, hang on. I'm gonna make it incredibly obvious. Look, your captain was the captain right. because they were the biggest and the strongest and the best pirate and all that, right? Right. Yes. We killed them. Right. And several of your crew at the same time. Right. None of you were the captain. So we've already beaten the best of you. So why would you... And bear in mind, there's now the more best? of us. But well, he was the, the captain. Best? I don't know if they were the best. Mm, he they're seemed the best? pretty tough. I mean, look. All I'm saying is, I urge you to consider your odds and the fact that, to be blunt, we will win a fight with you. Um, um, I, I, another another potential uh, option here is um, you essentially work for us. You get to you know still have the ship. Uh, you know maybe we're, we work out some some things, but um, we 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 potentially have a job for you. I'm gonna like look at the others and be like, is that is that, is that fine? Oh, yes. I'm... The these gonna like walk over and just be like, if you don't believe us, and then she's gonna actually uh, fire one of her lightning launcher uh, bolts just out into the ocean. Into the the seeds, it's just a crackle bolt. Coast Guard's like from her hands. What? <laughs> <laughs> you still have a dispute. Uh, no, mate. Can you do that? And a little no <laughs> on the top. Is, I mean, I know some magic. So you like decent? She just ah, and like fires off a firebolt out into the ocean. See? <laughs> uh, we well, we can do that. Can you do this? So I'm gonna flash my blades up. <laughs> <laughs> This is just a peacocking contest. I mean, look, yep. we don't have to kill them because of it. I'm done. Yeah. No, we're just showing. Nine fingers, can you do that? <laughs> and nine fingers flashes out his, his daggers from his hands. It's clear that probably at one point in time he missed that and one of those fingers is now missing. <laughs> make, after he does that, I'll, I'll like clench my forearms and make mine like half a foot long. <laughs> 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 grips it harder and nothing happens well, good good effort nine fingers we'll work on the second part there i mean look we're pretty good i mean well, look i think you should listen to my my tattooed associate i think the the job offer right, is right okay so the, good. Oh, you understand that we are pirates right so if we're going to be working for you then you've got to provide us some kind of incentive okay well look okay i've got i've got a suggestion then that both of us can be happy how about we fight for ownership of the, sh the ship? However, right. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Because let's be honest, it's a beautiful sunny day in the gate. Nobody needs to die. 
Why don't we make things a sporting contest instead of aiming to kill each other? Fight until we submit, right? And if we win, you're in our employ. We will pay you, of course. Right. And if you win, you can get the ship. Seems fair. No one has to die. Win-win. Lovely. Look, um, for, for what it's worth, I'm very good with this. I can also do this. I'm going to go and just shoot a radiant, uh, radiant sunbolt. Oh, we're just, yeah, we already saw that. The, the, the one with the armor says... They yeah, just... that's completely different. I'm doing this from my literal soul. Here's the thing. What is it, so? I don't know. He keeps talking about it. We could also just, like, not fight, and we could just pay you. Like, do you really right, want okay, to get beat so up today? Right, okay, so let's talk price, then. How many goldies are we talking? We need to huddle. Okay. Right, right, yeah, good good idea. Get with your team. So we do have, like, chests full of silver and copper. We do. And they are in chests, and I do hear pirates love those. So, like, theoretically, we... Well, maybe what we can do is, like, we can put them into slightly smaller chests. And then we can use, like, the copper with a little bit of silver sprinkled in his payment. I can't, Look, I can't Cyrus, believe. I'm going to be honest. Hey, I, I think we should just batter them and then lowball them. And they'll pretty much be forced to accept. I mean, I guess that's fair. That's probably they're pirates. They're, they're pirates. Do you really think that they're going to play fair? Cyrus, There's do you really us. think that they pose any threat to us? That's a, you know, that's a very, that's a very good point. What if they just take our, our stuff and leave, too? Also, look at it this way. Are they more likely to play fair with us if they respect us due to us beating them? If they see us as right, weak fair. or rich or whatever, they're more likely to act up. Okay, fair. Let's, uh, let's, let's And also, let's not kill Wait. them because I don't know oh, how no, to Oh, no, yes, of course. Bit. Let's uh, let's try to try to be non-lethal. I mean, V, I understand that some of your weapons may exactly not work in that fashion, and I'm not exactly sure if mine do, but... uh. I'm willing Did to give it a do? go. Yes. I, th I think budding into your little huddle here are your two new NPC friends. <laughs> and and Ray's like, so this isn't really what I signed up for. I don't really feel like fighting pirates. You can I stand have watch. bigger That's things to throw. Morlock's like, I like bashing heads. So, I'm Ray, down to you bash can be, heads. You can be our referee. If you see any shenanigans, <laughs> you call it out for us. Mm. See? Right, shenanigans. They are pirates, so shenanigans are likely. Ray, perhaps exactly. if you, if anybody, I don't know if you're trained in any sort of healing or medicine or anything like that, but perhaps if no. anybody becomes too injured, you can go and help them that way. Uh, uh, I know the point is. Preferably us. Oh, well, that works. Uh, that but yeah, Mortlock, of course, you're more than welcome to join in. I rather assumed you'd want to. Uh, right, just, no, uh, Mort Mortlock, just um, just 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 make sure you don't like. What? Make sure you don't hurt them too bad. Like, don't don't kill anyone. You can knock them yeah, out. Do like, you ever swung a mole of this uh, Just use your hands. Oh, your are we go punchy. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. right, yeah, yeah. yeah. We get into a brawl. Yeah. There we go. The idea is yeah. non-lethal because we technically like them to be alive to sail the ship afterwards. Remember, right, alive, but broken bones are okay. I, Just not the not. critical ones. Don't yeah, break the fingers. Yeah, nothing too serious. That one guy's already missing a finger. Think so about yeah, bruising, yeah. not breaking. Yeah. Bruising, not breaking. However, if one of them breaks the rules and tries to kill you, feel free to just rip them in half. I don't really care. Right. That. <laughs> bruising, not breaking, rip in half if they get a little oh, frisky God. about it. Yeah. All right, I'm oh. ready. Let's do this thing. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> I'm ready. So you're just, what, you're going to just like break and then just attack them? No, 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 no. It's, it's a one v one. Like we just, we just, we put our oh, champion yeah, in and they roll with theirs. Oh, no, it's oh, not I a one v one. Was... We're all fighting. <laughs> I We're all wow. fighting. Okay. We're not just sending Mortlock to batter them. I, I mean, thought it was could. just like <laughs> your your champion. And no, okay, right. that's fine. I, I mean, I'll call over to the huddle of pirates. And say, well, uh, are you all are you all ready? Should we have a, a ready set? Go oh, on well, your marks. Get get on the get on the ship, then. I mean, you might as well get on over here. All right. Now I must. I want to make one thing clear. Because this is not lethal, if any of you have any sort of piratey flintlocks or cannons no, or anything like that, and that comes out. Right, right, non lethal, non lethal. Boy, non lethal! No, me, that especially means you with your fiery magics. Oh, I probably shouldn't shoot arrows either. Let's uh, oh. let's get on the ship. <laughs> so Mortlock is going to hop onto the ship. Boom! Right. Also, if possible, we shouldn't damage the ship. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Just don't set it on fire. It'll be fine. All right, they're gonna they're gonna square up. <laughs> they're gonna square up. <laughs> this is the most organized D and D fight. Square up. <laughs> they're uh, dude, they're 
All right, so uh, we, we oh, have okay. a referee on our side. Um, maybe your fiery lady can uh, be the referee on your side. And then maybe you guys want to double up on uh, on, on the on the on our big guy here. I, I, that seems fair. Yeah, right. Okay, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. We got a couple more. We got a couple. Go get him. Go get him, nine fingers. <laughs> and he like, goes down more. He goes down, <laughs> and he, he brings up a couple more guys. All right. <laughs> All right. Two for yeah, that's each one like, I see you bringing Mortlock. Fuck you guys. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? They think, they think Mortlock's scary. They're going to gang up yeah. on him. He's huge. Um, and yeah, they're like, All right, now me, then you're going to be the referee. And Rhea's going to get on the ship and be like, All right, fine. <laughs> and on this side, this is so ridiculous. And on this it, side, and then uh, yeah, we're a, so we're having a I battle royale. We are gonna have a battle like, royale. I can't even use half my stuff. <laughs> we should have placed bets with like got the crowd involved or something. <laughs> and hurry, so, hurry, hurry! Step right up into the brawl of the century. <laughs> the pirates oh, versus the other hooligans. Um. Oh, here, here we go. This is I. I don't think I've ever <sighs> done a proper brawl like this, <laughs> and I'm excited Literally about it. Literally arranged fighting and then. <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the best this is the best case scenario. I think it's my two right, so hobbies. D and D and MMA meeting so each gonna, other. So, so they're they're gonna try. I guess they're gonna try and punch. Um, I, I yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go punchy boys. This is... I mean, the if the magic one has anything that doesn't actually do damage, like too well, bad. The, the refereeing, I think, was the. Oh, okay. Right. So since Ray is not in. All right. Oh, quick question. Let's go then. May yes. I hit them with my sword, but not take it out of its sheath? Hit them with the pommel. Almost pommel with the end. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, dude. No. Uh, yeah. Half sure. Cool. Yeah, you, you gotta half sword it uh, with the yeah, people, uh, with the guard, and then you. People used to fight like that. Yeah. It yep. works against armor better than the edge. Okay. All right, uh, Hugo, you're clearly first. Now, dear DM, I can yes. create psionic blades from my arms. Yes, you can. There is no reason those blades cannot be blunt and therefore non-lethal. <laughs> Your blades do psychic damage. Yes. Which is crushing the brains of your opponents. Yes, into submission. <laughs> 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 I don't you can certainly try this I don't know if they're going to feel the same way so I think I actually read into how my weapons work and yeah it, it is like psychic damage and they don't actually leave marks mm -hmm. so I could I, I do technically like weaken people with them I just won't finishing blow them it'll work we're fine oh my god <laughs> alright I'm going to uh run over to this corner here by the mast and uh -huh. yeah I, i'm gonna i'm gonna lash out with my blunted psychic plates at that chap right at the north yeah okay so that is a i mean you might as well 12 uh yeah it's gonna hit all right just hits That's uh slamming points. into yeah i mean you, you find a, a way past some of the armor there for five points of psychic damage and this guy up here this is nine fingers Oh, my brain hurts. He made my brain hurt, and his knife, it just disappeared. Uh, I, I punched him in the head. He's got a headache. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And I'm going to go in with I, the... I'm really hurting you. I'm, I'm, gonna... I, I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the offhand for a 20. Yeah, I, I mean, it hits. Uh, for he's six stabbing points me again. Damage. But he's not leaving any marks. I'm not stabbing you. You can't show... Where are you being stabbed? He dies. <laughs> Wait, what? That's... <laughs> That was a panic attack. He died of a heart attack. <laughs> that wasn't me. There's no marks he, on it. He goes down. He's um, fine. No. For attempting to do non-lethal, but he goes down immediately from your <laughs> mind daggers. <Shit>. <laughs> this <laughs> might not work as I intended. <laughs> and, and this guy is like, a nine finger. Are you okay, nine fingers? He's you, unconscious. I punched him in the head. He's down already. I hit you very just, hard. Uh, okay, Hugo, that is your action. I've got a left like... jab from hell. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I will. I'll end my turn there. All right. Uh, this one here is going to go. <laughs> charge <laughs> forward at Mortlock uh, and is going to attempt to punch him. He punches Mortlock directly in the chest and Mortlock goes. <laughs> 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 Jesus. <laughs> Rowan, it's your turn. Oh, God. Yay. All right. I'm going to charge. Um... 
I could have sworn I had a shield, but it's not on me. You guys, you guys are like, can we do this non-lethal, but use our weapons? <laughs> They're going to punch us, but we want to use our <laughs> blades. Do I have my Does shield on me? I can't like, remember. My migraine oh, knives don't card. count. Oh, there's my shield. <laughs> can I run into this guy and like shield ram him? Yeah, yeah. So it'd be a push action here. So it's going to be an athletics check. Okay. Um, which guy are you looking at? Uh, I would like to run into this guy <laughs> and knock him, knock him both. <laughs> Yeah, if I can knock him over the edge, that'd be great. All right, I, I, sure. Uh, do we want to knock him in the <laughs> It okay, looks like a man. Okay, roll the athletics. This is the most lethal, non-lethal fight. Okay. Uh, oh, that's An terrible. Eight. Okay, eight. it's not very oh. good. Um, I want you to know, you rolled a natural one, so you do push this guy back, which hits this guy, who yeah. topples over the edge of the boat. Yes. Oh, my God. And disappears into the water below. Nice. Is he wearing Wait, anything the... heavy? But he's got inflatable armbands on, right? <laughs> Maybe. We, but we definitely get the, you know, we get a nice scream. And he goes, ah! Overboard. And splashes into the water. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to action surge. Uh, okay. Take one more additional action. And I'm going to shove him again. Hit him with the, okay, the shield. Okay, do it. <laughs> Sweet. Is this an athletics check again? Is it? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. All right. 18. Uh -huh. That's better. Yeah, he rolled another four. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no. This one goes flying in the water. Look, it's fine. They're pirates. They can swim. Yeah, hopefully. <clears throat> they can't swim, okay. right? That's my turn. Perhaps the referees should check to make sure they're okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the gnome runs over here and goes, Boys, are you okay down there? And they're going to, like, you know, they come bobbing to the surface, right? <clears throat> yeah, we're fine. And they're going to, like, make their way to a ladder or something like that on their turns whenever it happens. Uh, yeah, they seem fine, I guess. One of, okay, one person, this guy actually does swim over here and clambers up the ladder and goes up this way. Um, he's going to run all the way back here. Doesn't means he doesn't get an attack, but he's going to dash, swim, climb, and get over here. Uh, Bloody hell. To get back in front of you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, otherwise, Rowan, that is your action, your action surge. Do you have a bonus action? Um... I will not do my bonus action. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that guy just ran up there. This guy here is like, that was a very nice and is going to try and, and punch you. Um, he rolls a 20 to hit. That hits. You take three points of damage. Damn. Ah, you're going to regret that. he punches that. you pretty good. Oh, he gets two attacks. He punches you. That's another 20 to hit. You take another three points of damage. Listen here, buddy. Just shoved two of his guys off the boat. He's kind of mad. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, these guys here, we finally have like a good, you know, batch of, of banditry here. A uh, good batch of pirates. And so they're just going to run forward. Uh, yeah. They're going to run forward here. Each of these guys, the first one against uh, V is a nine to hit. Uh, against Cyrus is a 19 to hit. And against that Francis hits. is a 15 to hit. 15 hits. Okay, so both Francis and Cyrus take one point of damage from the fists. Oof. Uh, okay. Do, do, do. And that one's dead. And that one's in the water. Actually, you're dead. saying dead. Way. But like. Down. Sit down. So that one's dead, and it's Francis' turn. <laughs> what the? I, <laughs> I thought we were doing. Can't you do non lethal with blades? He did psychic. Maybe not with these ones. Justin, to be blunt, I literally have like nightmare blades coming out of my hands. I don't think I can <laughs> maybe non lethal with them as Hugo just learned. Don't the you have normal way. dagger still? Yeah. I, I mean, are you ones. really controlling the rate at which someone bleeds out after you stab them with a dagger? Look, I don't know how the rules work, but I just know that you can <laughs> technically make it so you can't. I, you can't, don't, I don't. I, I, I no, think he, Hugo would have just discovered down. the hard it's way that I can't with my blades. Very, yeah. very funny that I keep saying he's dead <laughs> you're because you're me, man. <laughs> trying to blade these people to death or down, I guess. Anyways, Francis, it's your turn. You right. got a boy in front of you that just punched you. What do you want? Uh, well, I was wondering, I want to cast sleep because um, I feel like I can get all of them here. Because <laughs> um, it's in that a 20 foot square. Sportsmanly. Right. Um, I just cast it there to see how many of them I can get down with it. Yeah. You can You can definitely try. Okay. Uh, hold on. <laughs> let me just check the dice again. And so it's 5d8. So roll yes, sir. 5d8. And we start with the uh, lowest HP. 29 is a 29. lot. Uh, yeah. So we start with the lowest HP first and we begin to put them uh, asleep. Now, most of these guys haven't suffered any damage yet. So their total HP is rather high. 
Um, but you do get two of them. And I think Nomi up here. Foul! Foul! That one's using magics! It's non-lethal magic. It's still magics! It's still magics! What do we do first, mate? Any hey, hey, we say no magics! It's just it's a fisticuffs battle. Do we say no magic? You guys just like <laughs> 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 It's a battle of fisticuffs. Let them get, wake them up. It's like the first X-Men film, you know, where Wolverine punches the guy in the cage match, then puts the- like, Yeah, then puts the blades <laughs> through him. Yeah. And everyone else is like, what, the what happened? <laughs> Why is he bleeding everywhere from his throat? <laughs> uh, okay, I mean, Francis, you did it. They're calling foul, but they haven't done anything about it yet. V, it's your turn. Okay, I have a, I have a question for you. Yes. Because it'll change. Uh, to change, I, I literally can't hurt, hit them at all because of my stuff. Uh, to change my armor, it takes a short rest, yes. um, which would probably be not. But if I had hour. been tinkering them, hour. is it an hour? Okay, never mind then. Unfortunately, it takes like some actual like mechanical actual work on your armor. Yeah, so you're just gonna try and punch these guys punch pretty much. Them. Okay, um, how do I do that then? Yeah, the way that we generally do it is like it, you make an athletics check. Okay. If you beat their AC, you've punched them. Great. And then you you it's one plus your strength modifier. The oh. difference being like if you're okay. a trained monk, Cyrus 18. gets to do unarmed strikes <laughs> and whatever he wants at that. Yeah, an eighteen absolutely hits. I, I was, are you punching the sleeping one? Uh, <laughs> no, I'd be no, punching no, punch one the of sleeping those. one. <laughs> uh, north or south, Mortlock or the one in front of Cyrus? Cyrus. Okay, yeah, so an 18 definitely hits here. So you would do one plus whatever your athletics modifier is, which is one. Great. So you do two points of damage. Punch. Bonk. There you go. I... Uh, anything else? That's all I got, guys. Yeah, you punched him real good. All right. Uh, yeah. This one here is going to run behind Rowan. And now oh. they've got ganged up on Rowan here. Uh, and they're going to, oh, yeah. They're going to hit you with a hammer. Oh. They're going to hit you with a hammer. It does six bludgeoning damage, Rowan, to your back as you get hit with something made of metal. What? Ah! You want to say that's not your fist? And like you I look mean, back and there's like no this. hammer in in the hand, right? And like, what do you mean? I just hit you really hard. Bullshit. All right, <laughs> and that's their turn. Cyrus, it's your turn. So uh, I, I have my staff here, and I'm just like, uh, I look at the dude in front of me, like, I just, just, I just like place uh, that down, kind of place it on the ground. Okay, yeah, uh huh. <laughs> oh, and then I'm going to uh, punch him once in the face. Uh, yeah. Then, then uh, uh, use flurry of blows. Let's see, let's see if he, if he stays monk. up first before you do anything. Just go ahead and punch him. Right. 17, 17 definitely hits. Roll me some damage five. for five. Okay, yeah, he's still up for right now. Uh, that you can suck him really solidly. I'm gonna use flurry of blows. Uh, kick him once okay. in the. Uh, kick him once, like, uh, uh, like behind behind his uh, his knee. The knee. Not yeah. trying to blow his knee out. Uh, mm -hmm. but, you know, kick him behind the knee and then uh, do a good old fashioned elbow to the. Uh, to the side here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll me the first one. Uh, a seven to hit, unfortunately does not hit. So roll it again. <laughs> Another seven to hit, unfortunately does not hit. Awkward. He dodges out of the way of both of your blows. Whoopsies. He's fast, he's fast. It's All good right. enough for me. So that's action bonus action, you good? Yep. All right, Hugo. Yes. You killed one. <laughs> that's a killed. strong word. All right. Okay. <laughs> uh, and it seems that Rowan is is uh, calling foul on something. Yeah, which, which did I see which one fouled her? Un unfortunately, it's hard for you to see through the pole. Yeah. Um, you but, heard Rowan call out that there was some kind I mean, of foul. Ray Raya hasn't said anything. Realistically, I, I, I mean, I would run around that way. And seeing Rowan besotted on all sides, yeah. I'd... Uh... Now, I heard a yelp of pain when Rowan was hurt. And I'm also not the fairest player in the game, let's be honest. Right. <laughs> Neither are they. So, I actually consulted my player's handbook for the first time in a while, and it said that I can use an improvised weapon similar to an actual weapon and swing it with my proficiency. So my question to you basically is, 
can I use my daggers and hit people with the pommels of them like a club, basically? Can I bonk people with them? With your proficiency? Yeah, it says um, at the GM's option, a character proficient with a weapon can use a similar object as if it were that weapon oh, and yeah. use his okay, or her yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. You want to hit with the pommel and yeah, do bludgeoning just, just damage blunt, as an improvised weapon. Just like weapon. blunting people, like clubbing right. them with my dagger. So it'll be, it's, it's 1d4 damage if you hit. Yeah, it's the same. as it's, It just means I can just roll my dagger because it's the same, basically. Yeah, so uh, an actual okay, dagger, and you're going to try to blunt... But you're essentially utilizing it as a hammer. Yeah, I'm, right? I'm using it as like brass knuckles almost, like just bashing people with them. Sure. Uh, okay, cool. So that will be a dagger attack for 18. Yeah, I mean, it hits. Uh, and that would be eight points, but bludgeoning instead of piercing. Yeah. That's going to slam it into the and it, back of the This head. guy here. Yeah, he goes, Hey! Hey, we said no weapons! Is that, you know, that's, a, that's another foul! <laughs> oh, come on. I didn't exactly use the pointy end. And while he's looking at me, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> With my other dagger. With the other one. <laughs> for an 18 uh -huh. again. Look at that. Uh, for oh, five goodness. points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, wait. Yeah. Plus sneak attack because the next one. Oh, God. Uh, uh huh. No. <laughs> and the sneak attack is seven points of sneak attack damage. I don't know how the second hit was sneakier, but apparently it was. Uh. Yeah. And you like clonk, clonk this one on the back of the head. And they're just like, ah! They're very much in pain at this one. Fellow! Fellow! Playing fair! Neither are you! Uh-huh. I'm I'm playing fair. Whoops. <laughs> Alright. Um So anything else? Uh, I no, I I'll end my turn there, I think. Oh, that's that's good. Alright, great. Um This guy down here is going to attempt to punch Mortlock again. <laughs> Oh, he does! He does one point of damage to Mortlock. <laughs> Basically a Is massage a to Mortlock. Nice. Oh, wait, Mortlock's not even on the turn order. He's just sitting here taking hits. It's fine. <laughs> He's just laughing. <laughs> Put him in <laughs> next. Uh, okay. So, I, I'm going to add Mortlock. I thought I already had him out. Whoops, it's my bad. Too many NPCs. Mortlock. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what's happening. It's totally fine. More luck, you're going to go right now, and I'm also going to get you on the initiative order. You rolled an eight. Good for you. You're going to punch this guy, and you're going to deal five points of damage to him, punching him in the face. Okay. Uh, oh, and you get two attacks. That's good. Okay. This guy goes, goes down immediately. <laughs> He's just down. All well, right. Just uh, <laughs> facing. Bop, bop. <laughs> just big, meaty hands. Now he just like this dude down. him down through the, the floor. Yeah, there's just yeah. like sitting the in, the, in the wood. Absolutely. Um, okay, so back here up at the top, uh, that guy's down. Rowan, what do you want to do? Uh, I would like to wait. What the hell? Um, this one that hit me in the back. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm. I'm angry now. She's aggroed me. Uh, so I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna punch her in the face as hard as I can. How do mm -hmm. I do that? You roll athletics. Boom. Sixteen. Sixteen to hit does indeed hit. So it'll be one plus your uh, your strength mod which is four. So you deal yeah. five points of damage. Sick. Ow. And you put her down. Sick. Immediately. Yeah. She took two, you know, pommels of daggers to the back of the head, but you <laughs> definitely, you knocked her out. So there cool. you go. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to do my maneuver rally. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which is on my turn. I can use my bonus action to bolt the resolve of one of your companions. Francis gets my bolster. Woo. Uh, so when you do choose a friendly creature who can see or hear you, that creature gains temporary hit points equal to the superiority die plus your charisma modifier. I don't know. I just felt like using it. So we're using it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, so who is the friendly creature that can see or hear you? Francis. That you want to gain. Uh, okay. So it'd be a roll of superiority die, which is a D8. Yes. Plus your so, charisma mod. What is your charisma mod? Uh, my charisma mod is not great. Zero. Okay, so it'll be whatever the D8 roll is. Here, here's mine. Roll on D8. Boop. Four. So four. Uh, so this is for Francis. Francis, you gain four temporary hit points. Nice. So nice little buffer there. Uh, okay. Rowan, anything else? Nope, that is it. All right. Uh, Nomi on the top says, What the hell is this? And is uh, going to start waggling their little fingers here <laughs> and cast <laughs> Melf's Acid Arrow at Hugo. Okay, okay. Uh, Hugo. Oh boy. You take 14 acid damage. Oh. 
I've been Melf. Bloody hell. Uh, and Melf's has a secondary component here, which is on uh, 2d4 on the end of your next turn as well. You are now covered in acid. Oh, boy. Hmm. Yeah. And that was... Okay. Uh, Sorry, I was just putting my headset back on. That was this yep, wizard. Yeah, that's here. Nomi up here. Yeah, Wonderful. she's just like, "Damn, yeah, we all this," and just blast you with acid. Little bitch. And then this one here is like, "I'm not losing this fight. I'm not gonna." And pulls out a scimitar and slashes at Rowan. Oh great. Uh, Rowan, luckily you're very well armored, and it clanks off of your armor here, and you don't take any damage for it. Uh, this guy here is like, "What well, lads, lads? We're supposed to be fighting. We're supposed to be fighting." Ah. He's going to swing his sword two-handed at Rowan. Both of the attacks, one is a natural 20 for 21 points of damage. Ooh. I'm down. Good night. <laughs> night night. Holy Whoa. crackings, jeez. Nat 20, okay. Uh, but I guess lethal force is acceptable. So uh, this guy here is asleep. The next one in front of Cyrus pulls out his scimitar. <laughs> and tries to make a slash at you. Uh, There's a on, 17 man. to hit Cyrus. So yeah, it hits. Six slashing damage. Yeah, you, uh, you've na- you've gotten the okay here to uh, start beating the crap out of these guys, so that's probably pretty good. Well, uh, uh, I, on my turn, I was hoping that uh, I'd be able to say, so we're just gonna keep just punching, right? But <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this guy here rolls a 10, so Francis, you're able to avoid the damage. That one is asleep. And Mortlock goes, hey. That's not very nice. It's gonna step over this guy here, get behind this one, and just start and just swing them all. And we're gonna see what happens. Well, Chad. Bob, Bob, Bob. <laughs> Bob. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, this dude gets baseball batted onto the uh, the pier there. Uh, he swings the other one, slams this guy into the railing, and deals nine bludgeoning damage there. When he hits, he actually, he hits pretty good. All right, uh, Francis, what do you want to do? Uh, I'll just stab the guy in front of me with my rapier. Oh, yeah, you're gonna be like, all right, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ten. I'm not very good with my rapier. I think you're just like, oh, oh, blades, blades now, right? Oh, uh, and uh, unfortunately, not fast enough, Francis. Do you have anything <laughs> you want to do with a bonus action? Nah, I'm just, I'm not gonna do anything else. That's my turn. <laughs> who, who needs bardic inspiration anyways? No, nah, I want to save it for later. <sighs> this is it's the same problem when you like collect all of these things during your your uh, you know when you play through a game, and then the, yeah. the later never comes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like I can literally alter my fate with psionic dice, and I'm just like, but what if I need it later? <laughs> yeah. What if the big boss battle happens later? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. V, it is your turn now. What do you want to do? Okay, I was gonna do this. I was gonna do it anyway, so it'll be fun. Uh, I'm gonna step so over me. this guy. I'm gonna go right next to Rowan. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna face the two that are like right next to, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna be like, oh, I don't feel so well. <laughs> oh, come on, man. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna puke on, man. all on. Oh, no. I'm oh, supposed seasick. to be the good guys. I'm a little seasick. I'm a little seasick. You're, you're moored in port. I'm a little seasick. I'm you're a, a robot. Seasick. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. So, Tasha's so Caustic it. Brew, Dexterity Saving Throw. It's the, this guy right here. Is that right? Uh, it's, it's for both of them. Oh, 30 foot line. Oh, even better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, deck save here and line. deck save here. Saving throw is 13. Okay. One of them makes it, the other one fails. This guy okay. takes four damage. This guy takes eight. Um, and then, uh, like their person, uh, a creature that failed uh, takes two d4 acid damage at the start of their turn. Um, they can choose to use an action to scrape or wash off the acid. So it, it applies every round until they. It applies scrape it off? every round until they nice. or another creature scrape Perfect. it off of them. I love it. Okay. Anything else, V? That that is it, and I'm gonna just like look at Rowan. Just you have to, like wipe the acid from your mouth. <laughs> just like that. Oh, really I don't feel gross. Good. All right, Cyrus, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Uh huh. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Pick up my staff. Uh huh. And I'm I'm just going to say like. 
you all suck. <laughs> and I, I, I'm saying all, I'm like, I'm emphasizing all to include my own, my own party. <laughs> I'm just sick. And I'm just gonna I'm take just... a swing at the, the dude uh, in front of Hugo here with my quarter staff. Still okay. attempting to like not kill him. I'm just like hit him in the arm or something. Sure. Uh, so 11. 11 does, well, ah, nope, unfortunately just misses. So you that, hit him you in the, know, like, the leather armor and it's like, ah. Yeah, that, you know what, that's, that's, that's totally fine. I'm going to um, use my bonus action to step up the wind. Okay. Which allows me to disengage. Okay. And then I'm just going to come up here. I'm going to be like, Surprise! please tell them to stop. Surprise. This is stupid. <laughs> All right. Uh... We'll see if that sinks in. Hugo, it is your turn. All right, uh, I'm going to... Hmm. I will bonus action disengage with my cunning action. Okay. And I'm going to... Oh, wait, sorry, I just need to measure distance. That's oh, fine, I can, I can move up there, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna move there, and I'm gonna look at the wizard and be like, I mean, that was just frightfully rude, wasn't it? And I'm going to fire my runed longbow at them. And I hate you so much. I'm not going to look at that right now. Because that's at the end of my turn. And I'm going to finish my turn first. Fuck you, Joel. I'm going to fire my runed longbow. Uh, that is a 26 to hit. Uh-huh. That hits. And that is a nine points of piercing damage. And Cyrus is right next to them. So it's my sneak attack as well. Uh -huh. uh, which is eight, so 17, 17 points of piercing damage. 17 total points of and damage. And then the acid deals eight points of damage to me and I fall over and I hate you. Yep. Oh my yep. God. Cool. <laughs> you do 17 points of damage and then fall over. Yeah, I'm just like walking up the stairs, like dripping and burning with acid. Just like cold fury and then I fall to my face. Yeah. Yep. And I am <laughs> down. Hugo is down. Okay. Ah. Uh, that one is dispatched. Rowan. Hi. I need a death saving throw. Don't put uh, a little yeah. X Ooh. on you. Don't do that. What should I have on me then? The I'm uh, sad? The snail oh, of down. Oh, the sad. Uh, oh, the snail of down. I have the right sad there. of down. Snail, yeah. The snail of down. The okay. snail of down. Death saving oh. throw. Woo, let's go. 12. That's a success. We take Yay. those. All right. All right. Uh, the wizardy one up here looks at you and goes, because you're up here now, Cyrus. Is this bitch not dead? No. No, <laughs> she is not. She just took damage. That is the first time she took damage. She took 17 yeah. points. <sighs> um, and she is going to... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. It's going to... Don't make this mistake, no. Misty step. Mm -hmm. That is not going to Steps save you through a little... Monk. Just fades into mist as you get up there, Cyrus. And then, uh, oh gosh, <laughs> it's going to attempt to cantrip some some action here, some some ray of frost, probably at V. V, you're probably the most dangerous looking here, except for Mortlock. So you know what? Let's let's make it a coin toss here. Uh, it does go to Mortlock. All right, Mortlock. Uh, Mortlock gets hit by this. It seems unperturbed, <laughs> as Mortlock is most of the time. Yeah, it's, it's quite an unperturbable fellow, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, okay, the one here is going to slash out at V with its scimitar. Uh, 13 to hit, so will not, not hit. And the one here with the long sword is going to swing out twice two-handed here against V. A 12 and a 15, so both of those are not going to strike nope. as well. Uh, okay. Look. The one in front of Francis here, though, will attempt to strike with a scimitar. He snarls out at you. It's a 14 to hit, Francis. Does that yeah, hit? 14 hits. All right, you deal. He gets four points of slashing damage here. Uh, and then Ooh, it's more. Four, and then it's Mortlock's turn. Yeah, thank goodness for yeah. my temporary hit points. There you go. <laughs> Mortlock is going to uh, go give this guy the great club, the mall. Uh, and smashes this dude with a one, two over the head, and he ends up pile drive. Uh, probably below decks, below whatever this little <laughs> lattice structure is here. Uh, he's just down below there now. And Mortlock continues his rampage. Francis, what would you like to do? Um, I guess um, I shall uh, move over to, to Rowan, step over the bodies, uh, and cast 
uh, cure wounds on her. Uh, okay. First level, so it's uh, eight points of healing. There you go. Uh, Doesn't rolling. do anything. Doesn't do anything. Oh, mm-hmm. that's right. <gasps> what? Have I forgotten something? Oh, oh my god, I forgot! Curse. Because she did it last time. <laughs> Oh, I forgot! Wait, it doesn't oh, do you anything. Got cursed. It doesn't. This is the first time we've actually come to this point. She can't now. get healed. It, it can't. It doesn't do anything. You lay your, you put your hands on her, and the healing magic suffuse, and then nothing happens. The wounds don't close, and she remains still on the deck. I. Oh my god! I totally forgot. Oh. Uh, I. It's, we both pay attention. We're st- we might need to give Rowan some help. <laughs> I've got, I've got nothing else. I'm just gonna okay. end my turn. What? Uh, yeah. Ooh. I, w- I will say this. Your does the bardic inspiration require that they can hear you? Uh, that's what I was looking at. Um, and it, it does. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunate. Okay. Uh, if, if quick question, if I succeed two more times, do I become conscious again? No, you are stable. No. Stable. Okay, yeah. so I can't do second wind on myself or anything like that. Unfortunately, not until you're conscious. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's so not if fuck they this can up, find a way to make you conscious, or if you nat twenty save, nat twenty save is the one where I say, all right, you're at one, and okay. you're conscious. All right, um, nat twenty, we can do that. Right. Totally. V, it is <laughs> your turn. Rowan doesn't wake up. Doesn't doesn't even move. Yeah. Um, doesn't move. Francis, you you should have. She didn't. I, I cast the spell properly. It, I don't. She. It just didn't work. Uh. All right. We're gonna need to end this quickly, quicker than I expected. Um. Don't kill. <laughs> don't the one kill time, me. Sorry. the one time my character is like legitimately a good guy. <laughs> Everybody else is a gang of pirates. At this point, I think Still, though. I think V would actually be panicking and not know what to do. Sure. So she's going to do the one thing that she knows is to go find Hugo. And she knows this up. So I'm actually going to take, and I'll probably take Wait the Wait till you see Hugo. Tax. Yeah. <laughs> His face is uh, melted so off. So I believe both of them should They will. Yep. Tax both of them will. Okay. Get a tax of opportunity here. One is a five and one is 11. So basically they okay. slam against your, you know, your armor, your plate here. Um, but no damage. Not now. And yeah. I'm gonna like- slam, 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 and just like walk away from ding, them. Ding. Get back gonna, in a moment. I'm, I, I, I'm gonna go up and use cure wounds on Hugo. Okay. Um, for eight, eight healing. It does um, work on Hugo. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess I would, uh, I would, I would stagger back to life, and uh, quite earnestly, I would look at. I would probably be shaking you. Yeah, I'd be qu- like, I would feel, and then I'd be like, something's wrong with Rowan. We have to go get her. Oh, all right. I thank you, V. I up and at him. Yeah, and then quite... I'm going to use the rest of my movement to come back down here. Still a little bit prone, so not going to follow you. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I figured. It's a little bit on the ground, uh, but that's okay. <laughs> just shook now but i'm alive so that's nice okay yeah uh v there you go that is action and movement do you have any bonus actions you'd like to do that uh no okay and my turn cyrus so are you measuring out some things what do you want to do what oh i thought i, I did not show to other self that's awkward <laughs> I, I think i get to see regardless i saw it too oh, okay, oh, okay. Oh. Just <laughs> poorly then. uh yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and uh good good thing i'm a monk i'm just gonna and go around to her. It's like, why? Why didn't? Why? Why? I'm gonna hit her with my quarter staff. Man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> why and am I getting ace. rolled so bad? The only person trying oh. not to murder people. Whatever. I've got to oh. use freaking flurry of blows. Uh, unfortunately, and six and an eight. You really don't want to hit her. <laughs> Subconsciously, just. Ooh. Sorry, you need to center your your chi here. <laughs> center yourself. And that costs a key point. That costs a key point. Center yourself. (laughs) Okay. That is your action and your bonus action and your movement, Cyrus. Hugo, you are conscious. All right. I'm going to stagger back to my feet, feeling somewhat pissed. And I'm going to make my way to the railing. Kind of look out over the scene. Uh, I notice Rowan is down. 
So yeah. I'm going to shoot at the pirate directly next to her. Uh, this one here. Okay. Sure. Assuming. Oh, and actually, do you know what? I'm going to uh, use my bonus action to steady my aim. Oh, wait, hang on. Sorry, I, I, can't I, can't, I can't do that because yeah. I've moved. Yeah, that's wrong. I can't do that. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm going to flick out my soul knives and I'm going to throw them instead. Okay. So I'm going to throw the first one, a little shard of darkness for 10. Unfortunately, that does not hit. Right. And then I will throw the second one, 25. Bit of disparity. That, that's going to that's gonna hit. And that's going to be six points of psychic damage. Uh, now, sneak attack to the... Unfortunately, you do not have any allies within range where they are yeah. threatened. Sure, absolutely. Um, I understand that. Okay, and you cool. did not have advantage. But yep. yes, he looks incredibly injured and he's bleeding from his eyes and ears now. So that's fun. And um, Soul Knife. Yeah, just yeah, making his knife. brain explode. Soul Knife's cool. All right, I'm going to... Honestly, because I'm still reeling, uh, I'm just going to like kind of take cover behind this little wooden outlet. Sure, yeah, this it is. thing, yeah. whatever it is on a ship. Who I'm knows? Not, not hiding, but kind of just like taking cover, keeping an eye on what's going on. Don't want to get <laughs> okay. hit again. I'm not hiding. I'm brave. Not hiding. Uh, Rowan, I need another death saving throw. Ooh. That is a failure. Ooh. Okay. It's better than uh, better than the other number that comes before it. Yeah. I'll get a two. It could have been a one. Right here. Uh, okay. I. She's going to slam her hands together, splay out her fingers, and is going to cast um, a spell. Um, which involves some hands burning. It it may involve some hands of burning. And I'm just trying to find my little animated token for it because you oh. know when you actually buy these things, you just really really want to utilize them. Uh, let, let, me let me zoom on this. Let me zoom. Let me zoom. Oh, but it's not there. Oh, sh oh okay. God, here we go. It. Now I feel. Oh, oh God, I feel. Here we go. There's so much pressure it's here. It's your moment to oh, shine. Fix this in post. Fix Everybody, this in if post. this is impressive, go oh, sub to Joel's YouTube channel. You should do that God, anyway. Oh no! Oh, that's so terrible. Oh, because oh, I can't he, find he it. He does a lot of good D and D campaigns. Some of them have animated effects. Will God, this be one of them? Except for this one right now. We're oh, not going to fix it, Joel. We're going to sit here until you get it. it. So, I'm, uh, I'm panicking. <laughs> I'm just fair. turning red. Look what you've done. <sighs> I can't find it. Let oh, us know God. in the uh, comments how patient you are as you uh, wait. <laughs> Ah. While you're being patient, please do remember to uh, smash that like button and subscribe <laughs> to the YouTube channel uh, and maybe watch the other things that are... I can't find it. I'm I'm panicking. It's <laughs> Diefall RPG if you want to check Die them out on uh, YouTube. It's trying to be an animated <laughs> found it. Oh Look my at God, it. Here it comes. Fine. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. Someone count it's going to be incredible. Oh, it's so oh, it's in the it's wrong square. It's so oh, there it is. Oh, oh my God. God. It's probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, to be honest. <laughs> Production values are really sky. Oh, God. All right, so we fix this in post, right? We just we Absolutely not. Point. All of that is being kept in. <laughs> I'm sweating so much That is right the now. reddest okay. I've ever seen you get, Joe. It is. I'm sweating so much. I couldn't find it at all. I was panicking. Uh, okay, so, so burning hands. <laughs> oh, God. She's going to burning hands the area here, and I'm going to need dexterity saving throws from Mortlock and Cyrus. Does her friend get burnt? Or burning hands? He's, he's uh, sleeping. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yes. So he's going to auto fail the burning hands. Uh, it is a DC 13 save. Mortlock is very slow. 13. You got a 13. Okay, so you just save, so you take six points of damage here. Mortlock will take all 13. He natural ones. Uh, so he gets torched up. I think he finally takes notice. Uh, and that guy's definitely dead. <laughs> Are you like keeping around. track of who's dead and who's unconscious? <clears throat> yes. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yes. Uh, Morlock turns around and goes, Hey, that wasn't very nice. And it seems that Morlock now has his new target. Uh, great. This one in front of Rowan is going to, uh, Stand over her and slash out at Francis with his scimitar. That is an 11 to hit, so he will miss. This one here is going to rush forward at Mortlock and lash out with his long sword here. Two strikes, both two-handed, uh, and is going to hit one of these for seven slashing damage. Mortlock's finally taking some, some hits here. 
Uh, that one is sleeping. That one is dead. That one is dead. It's Mortlock's turn. Mortlock doesn't care. Mortlock's going to go this way and is going to uh, bash this one with his maul. Uh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> And uh, fades beneath the waves there. Oh. So. <laughs> a bit grim. She's unconscious. Yeah. What if she's just unconscious? <laughs> what if she is just unconscious? Just we have other unconscious freaking... people to worry about here <laughs> that aren't that aren't that pirates. Aren't right? Healable. Hmm. right, so Francis, it is now your turn. <laughs> uh, so it's the, like the, the guy to my right is the one that Hugo already hit with his soul knife, isn't it? And... The one in, yeah, the one directly in front of you here yes. is the one with the soul knife. Yes, he looks incredibly injured. You'd watch his, like, blood is just running down his face, out of his eyeballs. <laughs> okay, I shall attack him with my rapier. All right, perfect. Over. 16! 16 definitely hey. hits. Go ahead and roll that damage. Ten. Yeah. Uh, you run him through with your rapier, and he dies. Oh. Nice. There you go. Um, and then I'll just... In fact, no, 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 stay around. I'm not going near the edge of the ship. <laughs> I'm not getting pushed just, off. I, I'll, I'll just end my turn. I'll just end my turn. All right, V, it is your turn. Uh, V, I'm gonna. I'm seeing everything happen. I'm gonna move towards this this last guy that's that's open, and I'm gonna have my hand, but it's gonna be. I'm I'm not going to cast uh my lightning launcher, but I'm gonna have it like charging up to his sure. face, and I'm drop your sword right you're gonna pull the iron man and charge up right <laughs> sit there in front of him and he looks at you, oh, whoa, whoa, hang on hang on hang on hang on he notes now that everyone around him has fallen he's a pragmatic sort he was the one that wanted to do this contest of arms in the first place he goes oh, hang on hang on no and he drops his long sword and goes, i think we've um done a fair bit of damage to us both you lot did more damage to mine. But he like gestures downwards to Rowan. But well, it seems like you've got something to attend to here. And I'm going to maybe see if my wizard is intact. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say, I'm going to nod and, and just go kneel towards Rowan. Yeah. He's going to go like, guy look over the side and see the if The body that's it. now on top of Rowan. I'm just going to throw it, like throw push it, it over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> over to the side. And like, I'm, I'm going to. Rowan, like try to like nudge her and see, and like I'm gonna, I'm going to try to cast my cure wounds. Sure. I feel like I, I should just, just in case. Yeah. What if, well, like, what if he just was out of magic just and didn't case. know? Francis yeah. just right? fucked it up. Well, so, yeah. Why well, I just mess it up? Why? Well, why? You know, Francis I'm might mess up. Gonna cast it and like sure. really put my all into it. Okay. So I will cure wounds for eight. And nothing happens. And so we continue the turn order. We remain on it until Rowan's fate is decided. Cyrus, what do you do? Uh... Just plug the holes, man. <laughs> uh, I I guess I'm going to. Um... You know what? I'm disappointed, everyone. I'm walking up here with Raya. <laughs> oh my god! I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm not a freaking magic healer. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Rowan was uh, harmed by non-magical means. Uh, she just seems to be in a, unaffected by magical healing. So, okay, you know, Cyrus. I, I, you know what? Fine. Go up okay. here. Okay. 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 Are you sure? I have, you know, I have a Garbo 5 in medicine. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and try to yeah. use, like, actual, like, non-magical means. Yeah. 5 is not garbage. Five is actually really good. So a I got 13. 13. <laughs> so a 13, you pull out some bandages as all adventurers carry around with them, gauze and otherwise, and you like maybe try to staunch the wound uh, from these sword slices that were cut deeply through Rowan's armor. Uh, and you stabilize Rowan, as far as you can tell. The bleeding has at least been stopped. Hey. I'm gonna look up to, to everyone around here with with my just my glowing golden eyes and my Stained. tattoos freaking shining despite the time of day and just be like, if you people would have just kept to your fists, this would have been fine. We would have won handily, but no. We had a we had a, 
And at this point, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Rowan, roll me a D four. Four. Rowan, see in four. Yes. You are <laughs> unconscious for the next four hours. Okay. Before oh, you damn. recover. <laughs> You are stable, you are alive, but you are unconscious for the next four hours until you wake. Cool. I'm going to go talk to our pirate friend Did and say... He fish her out of the sea? <laughs> <laughs> He's like trying to throw this life preserver out here and just hoping fruitlessly. And... Uh, I think she's gone. Is she? Is she visible out there? Roll a perception check. All right. 16, and I'm also going to add a psionic die to it. Oh, oh my scary. god, alright. My first ever use of my psionic neck for a 1. <laughs> 17. 17. Uh, yeah, she's floating some 15 feet below the surface. I'm going to put my recent differences with this gnomish wizard aside. I'm going to tie one of the ropes in my backpack mm -hmm. to an arrow and attempt to fire it out to her. Okay. So she can grab it and we can pull her in. You will you are not sure if she is conscious. Oh. Um when you see her under the water, she is not moving. I'll jump in and get her. Okay. You leap off into the water to go and claim her, and you start swimming downwards. Uh, swimming is an athletics check. It is. Let's go ahead and roll me some athletics because you got to swim down. That's a three. <clears throat> and you start trying Which, to swim down. I'll add another die to please be a six. It's another oh, one. <laughs> one. Game doesn't work. Not real, everyone. <laughs> she is sinking faster than you can keep up. Shit. Um. <laughs> there is there is not much I can do in this scenario. Uh yeah, I'll 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 swim back to the surface. I I can't I can't yeah. do anything really. And she fades below you until you can no longer see her in the murky waters of I'll, uh, Baldur's Gate Harbor. Yeah, I'd climb back onto the ship. They so swim on over here and clamber back up, and he he sees you. You 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 find her? Was she there? She was quite wounded and. uh Sinking faster than I could help, I'm afraid. Oh, no. I'm sorry, I... I tried. No, no. It happens. When we take the life of a pirate, we all know it ends one day. Speaking of... I'm sorry to be so blunt, but... We do require your services, as previously mentioned, and... I think it's the fair to say... The bodies of his crew are just strewn around the deck. And I think it's fair to say... Oh, I'm still sleeping. My crew won the fight. Yeah, we had yeah, to do. Well, um, not many of mine are left. Uh, I think some of them have been stabbed. Some of them are bleeding out the eyes. That one over there is just snoring now. And He's that fine. one there is torched up. Um, I don't have enough crew to sail this vessel. Even a short distance. Uh, it would take a long time. But what if the rest of us help? You, you know anything about ships? I'm a quick learner. <laughs> They're made uh, of wood. <laughs> they float. What right. What if we were to give you some... Mm, well, perhaps we could charge you with hiring a more honest crew. He, like, goes over here to wake this guy up. He's like, <laughs> huh? What? what? <laughs> and he, like, looks around at the The luckiest guy in deck. the fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Barely gets missed by the burning hands as well. Yeah, he's like, um, well, hiring a good crew takes a long time. Honestly, about a week. Get it really right, especially if you want to fully outfit this one. You need about 15. Look, we need this ship over to the western side of the bay today. <sighs> well, I don't have much choice. You put my, a blade to my face about it, but, um, I'd rather not do that, but you see him there, and I'm gonna nod at Francis. Say so he's the dread captain Valiers. 
Not a man you want to anger. Right, Captain. Oh, yes. Uh. He's put many crews to the sword for simply rowing too quickly. Bringing them into harbor. He's a well, devil in a man's guise. We can... Um, <laughs> I'm so glad Justin <laughs> likes it. Put out... Put out oars. Uh, with a little help, we might be able to maneuver it over there. Um... You uh, talk to the harbor master and get yourself a spot. Yes, that seems like a wise idea. Right. Well, we'll um, we'll raise anchor here and uh, start trying to move. Um, and leave me the big muscly one with the face thing. And uh, I think you can raise that with him yourself. More like I know a little about ships. They got fronts. They got backs. They got big sail thingies. Yeah. That could be helpful. Can I can I just go around and check which of the pirates are like actually dead? Well, t uh, technically I want to look for the ones that are currently like still alive sure. and just horribly unconscious. Yeah. Uh roll me a medicine check. Just a general one. As you walk around the deck. 15. Yeah, 15. Uh this one. That's the only one alive? Yeah, conscious. <laughs> or not, un unconscious, but uh, alive. Um, this one here looks like they probably could have lived, but Mortlock punched them really hard and snapped that guy's spine. Uh, and then the rest of these guys got stabbed or burned to death. Well, so. can, can I can I check the one that went through the little rafter things as well as the one? On oh the yeah, dock? the one down the yeah yeah, the yeah that's fine. Um, this one got hit with with a maul, if you remember. Yeah, I know. Okay, his spine is broken in half <laughs> as he lies shattered on the docks. Um, this one that got slammed through the ground, his head no longer has a neck connecting to the shoulders. He is just shoved <laughs> inwards oh into God. it. He's imploded. Maybe we should have done a 1v1. Um, yeah, maybe we should have. <laughs> so there is one that is still alive, though is, you know, has the Oops. quickly drying blood from the eyes and ears from the uh, psychic damage that they took. Oh, yes. <laughs> so there's no telling luck. what actual state their brain is in, but they are unconscious. Look, they've just been stabbed with the literal epitome of darkness, okay? It's fine. Yeah, it's, so it, the it's, horrors it's that they've seen... They'll sleep it off. It's all right. Yeah, he's It's sleeping. totally fine because, uh, because like, uh, Cyrus is just learning about, like, what life in the city is. Fucking short <laughs> and gross. I want to go back to my freaking but forest you farm. Shit. That's fun. I don't. I've not been on big water. We have a lake. <laughs> big <That's> water. <laughs> While Cyrus uh, is going around poking the bodies, place. I'll just go up to Francis and say, uh, "I might have made you a somewhat notorious pirate captain. Uh, sorry about that, old chap." It wouldn't be the first time. That's surprisingly, true. very true. Oh well, I'm sure you'll manage. Just act scary if the crew seem spooked by you. Yes. Are you okay? You took some acid. Oh yes, I'm. Uh, I, thankfully, due to V, I'm quite. I'm quite fine. Um, I say quite fine. I am in absolute agony, but at least the superficial damage was repaired, and I appreciate that. V's gonna walk over, to, like to the conversation with Hugo and Francis, and be like, "Um, Hugo, um, I have to admit something." What is it? I wasn't actually feeling sick. I just didn't like my comrades getting hit. Oh, that's... I feel fine. Yeah, I, I rather assumed that was the case, to be honest. I I thought you were just She's, like, forward. surprised that, like, <laughs> her de deceiving did not work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was rather assuming you were looking for an excuse to spew acid over those, uh, those wretches. Yeah. Don't, don't feel too bad about it. I, uh... I share some of the blame, and I'll look down to the poor unconscious one bleeding from the <laughs> eyes. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm like, V, I'm wielding things that... Look, at least you understand your capabilities. I, uh... I appear to be wielding something far beyond my comprehension. 
I, okay, I know that we're gonna have to move the ship, but do you think we're in the right state to be fighting whatever they have or that devil tonight? Mm. Quite frankly, no. However, I see to us that we have a golden opportunity and listen, if Mortlock is correct and quite frankly, I'm rather taken with the chap. I quite like Mortlock and I have no reason to <laughs> distrust him, to be entirely honest. He's been nothing but an aid to us so far. Then presumably Amric is a coward. Cowards uh, don't respond well to threat and maybe we can avoid fighting altogether. Uh, also, we can just have our uh, our newly acquired friends like, like hide, I guess. Man, we could have had so many more of them, whatever. I'm just like, I'm just up. <laughs> how, Joel, Man. how do I know how like long it is until sunrise? I mean, sunset. Uh, yeah, so you guys, man, you walked down here. You had your bright early adventurer's morning, maybe an hour to get to the, the bar. Uh, you maybe spent an hour inside of the bar and then came here. It's probably only like midday. Okay. So sunset for you is seven hours from now? Yeah, a, a bit. Okay. I mean, presumably the ship has cabins. Should I mean, personally, I can still feel my insides burning from that acid, but... I'm glad you saved the exterior. Oh, of course. Uh, <laughs> I don't think Rowan's in any shape. At, at worst case scenario, we should at least leave her in a comfy bed for a few hours. Yes. I mean, can I uh, can I wander to the with with V presumably to the other side of the ship where the sort of captain's cabin would be normally? Is yeah. there a cabin? Is there like a some sort of nice, a, nice? You know what I mean? Some sort of feasible sure. accommodation? Yeah, there's a reasonable accommodation here. Um, you would probably note that there doesn't seem to be anything valuable here on the ship. How strange! Wonder uh, where all that is. So, but yeah, you um, if you like explore the ship, you would note that there is a captain's quarters and it's got like a nicer bed. Um, but there's also like uh, downstairs, there's hammocks and stuff for like regular crew hmm. uh, situated around as well as what looks to be like a little mess hall and some storage um, and some like tables and stuff as well and chairs. Most of them are like bolted to the floor, right? I think I'd get V to uh, carry Rowan to the captain's quarters with me. Yeah, sure. Try to put yeah. them to rest. Sure. Um, oh, sorry. I, I'm going to pick up uh, Rowan and wh in her armor and bring her down and then try to like slowly take off the heavy armor so that she could be comfortable in the bed. Yeah. Uh, you would know that she wears a lot of armor. Mm -hmm. uh, it does take a while to, and especially if you're trying to do it carefully and not shift her too much, yeah. it'd probably take about 10 minutes to actually get all of her armor off. I'm going to do it. Yeah. And so Rowan is uh, resting now. Uh, with a, a bright bunch of red gauze around her neck for where she was bleeding, uh, but is alive, and so that's good. And your unnamed new reformed pirate friend uh, and his singularly remaining conscious crew member are attempting to uh, sail, row, paddle this uh, ship. <laughs> across the harbor to Pier 12, uh, where you're supposed to meet Amric Vanthamper sometime this evening. I think that's probably where we close our session. <laughs> right. Uh, and we will have to see what happens with all of this the next time that we play. All right. Did not expect the to finally go back to the ship today. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you one ship, and you decided to go to the other ship. It, but, it know, seems like such a good idea, though. Is the thing at the yeah at the time? <laughs> at the time, there's a small part of Hugo that's like, "Hang on, Baldur's Gate's gonna fall into hell. I have a ship. <laughs> could just I... us." <laughs> Go? Yeah. Go. You could just you could. leave. You could. <laughs> yeah, we just become pirates. <laughs> By we, yeah, I mean, we can sing I mean, going home. 
<laughs> yeah, the whole game changes as soon as that happens. But yo, I got we could do it. We could totally do it if you want to be pirates. I don't know. I don't know how V feels about being a pirate. But uh no, v, v can come no. stay with my uh my family. Okay. She she has she has a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff. <laughs> yes. So Thank you for playing tonight, guys. It was yeah, fun. Thank, thank you for, for being accommodating for on the, on the recording time. Um, <laughs> hopefully, it was enjoyable for you at home. I I I am sure that my burning hands animation made it <laughs> totally worthwhile. Oh yeah, that's not going to be edited at all. But uh, yeah, <sighs> obviously, Joel, thank you once again for wonderful DMing. We all truly appreciate it. Thank you, everyone at home as well for watching. Uh, yeah, more news on the upcoming West March stuff soon. But for Avernus, we'll see you back in a couple of weeks' time. And, uh, yeah, it's bye from me, bye from the cast, and, of course, bye from Justin. <laughs> oh, wow. Go, Justin. Go. Well, Marsh, thanks. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodbye.